Blessed is the person who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He will be like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither, and in whatever he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but they are like chaff which the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Why are the nations restless and the peoples plotting in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let's tear their shackles apart and throw their ropes away from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs, the Lord scoffs at them. Then he will speak to them in his anger and terrify them in his fury, saying, But as for me, I have installed my king upon Zion, my holy mountain. I will announce the decree of the Lord, he said to me, You are my son, today I have fathered you. Ask it of me, and I will certainly give the nations as your inheritance, and the ends of the earth as your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, you shall shatter them like earthenware. Now then, you kings, use insight, let yourselves be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with reverence and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, that he not be angry and you perish on the way, for his wrath may be kindled quickly. How blessed are all who take refuge in him! Lord, how my enemies have increased! Many are rising up against me. Many are saying of my soul, There is no salvation for him in God. Selah. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts my head. I was crying out to the Lord with my voice, and he answered me from his holy mountain. Selah 5 I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, Lord, save me, my God. For you have struck all my enemies on the cheek, you have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord, may your blessing be upon your people. Selah. Answer me when I call, God of my righteousness. You have relieved me in my distress, be gracious to me and hear my prayer. You sons of man, how long will my honor be treated as an insult? How long will you love what is worthless and strive for a lie? Selah. But know that the Lord has set apart the godly person for himself, the Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble, and do not sin, meditate in your heart upon your bed, and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness, and trust in the Lord. Many are saying, Who will show us anything good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, Lord. You have put joy in my heart, more than when their grain and new wine are abundant. In peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, have me dwell in safety. Listen to my words, Lord, consider my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry for help, my King and my God, for to you I pray. In the morning, Lord, you will hear my voice. In the morning I will present my prayer to you and be on the watch. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, no evil can dwell with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes, you hate all who do injustice. You destroy those who speak lies, the Lord loathes the person of bloodshed and deceit. But as for me, by your abundant graciousness I will enter your house, 
at your holy temple I will bow in reverence for you. Lord, lead me in your righteousness because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. For there is nothing trustworthy in their mouth, their inward part is destruction itself. Their throat is an open grave, they flatter with their tongue. Make them pay, God, have them fall by their own schemes. Scatter them in the multitude of their wrongdoings, for they are rebellious against you. But rejoice, all who take refuge in you, sing for joy forever. And may you shelter them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. For you bless the righteous person, Lord, you surround him with favor as with a shield. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I am frail, heal me, Lord, for my bones are horrified. And my soul is greatly horrified, but you, Lord, how long? Return, Lord, rescue my soul, save me because of your mercy. For there is no mention of you in death, in Sheol, who will praise you. I am weary with my sighing, every night I make my bed swim, I flood my couch with my tears. My eye has wasted away with grief, it has grown old because of all my enemies. Leave me, all you who practice injustice, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my pleading, the Lord receives my prayer. All my enemies will be put to shame and greatly horrified, they shall turn back, they will suddenly be put to shame. O Lord my God, in you I have taken refuge, save me from all those who pursue me, and rescue me. Or he will tear my soul like a lion, dragging me away, while there is no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is injustice in my hands. If I have done evil to my friend, or have plundered my enemy for no reason. Let the enemy pursue my soul and overtake it, and let him trample my life to the ground and lay my glory in the dust. Selah. Arise, Lord, in your anger, raise yourself against the rage of my enemies, and stir yourself for me, you have ordered judgment. Let the assembly of the peoples encompass you, and return on high over it. The Lord judges the peoples, vindicate me, Lord, according to my righteousness and my integrity that is in me. Please let the evil of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous, for the righteous God puts hearts and minds to the test. My shield is with God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, and a God who shows indignation every day. If one does not repent, he will sharpen his sword, he has bent his bow and taken aim. He has also prepared deadly weapons for himself, he makes his arrows fiery shafts. Behold, an evil person is pregnant with injustice, and he conceives harm and gives birth to lies. He has dug a pit and hollowed it out, and has fallen into the hole which he made. His harm will return on his own head, and his violence will descend on the top of his own head. I will give thanks to the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth, you who have displayed your splendor above the heavens. From the mouths of infants and nursing babies you have established strength because of your enemies, to do away with the enemy and the revengeful. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. What is man that you think of him, and a son of man that you are concerned about him? Yet you have made him a little lower than God, and you crown him with glory and majesty. You have him rule over the works of your hands, you have put everything under his feet. All sheep and oxen, and also the animals of the field. The birds of the sky, and the fish of the sea, 
whatever passes through the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, I will tell of all your wonders. I will rejoice and be jubilant in you, I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before you. For you have maintained my just cause, you have sat on the throne judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations, you have eliminated the wicked, you have wiped out their name forever and ever. The enemy has come to an end in everlasting ruins, and you have uprooted the cities, the very memory of them has perished. But the Lord sits as king forever, he has established his throne for judgment. And he will judge the world in righteousness, he will execute judgment for the peoples fairly. The Lord will also be a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name will put their trust in you, for you, Lord, have not abandoned those who seek you. Sing praises to the Lord, who dwells in Zion, declare his deeds among the peoples. For he who requires blood remembers them, he does not forget the cry of the needy. Be gracious to me, Lord, see my oppression from those who hate me, you who lift me up from the gates of death. So that I may tell of all your praises, that in the gates of the daughter of Zion I may rejoice in your salvation. The nations have sunk down into the pit which they have made, in the net which they hid, their own foot has been caught. The Lord has made himself known, he has executed judgment. A wicked one is ensnared in the work of his own hands. Higayan Selah The wicked will return to Sheol, all the nations who forget God. For the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted perish forever. Arise, Lord, do not let mankind prevail, let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, Lord, let the nations know that they are merely human. Selah Why do you stand far away, Lord? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In arrogance the wicked hotly pursue the needy, let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. For the wicked boasts of his soul's desire, and the greedy person curses and shows disrespect to the Lord. The wicked, in his haughtiness, does not seek him. There is no God in all his schemes. His ways succeed at all times, yet your judgments are on high, out of his sight, as for all his enemies, he snorts at them. He says to himself, I will not be moved, throughout the generations I will not be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and oppression, under his tongue is harm and injustice. He sits in the lurking places of the villages, he kills the innocent in the secret places, his eyes surreptitiously watch for the unfortunate. He lurks in secret like a lion in his lair, he lurks to catch the needy, he catches the needy when he pulls him into his net. Then he crushes the needy one, who cowers, and unfortunate people fall by his mighty power. He says to himself, God has forgotten, he has hidden his face, he will never see it. Arise, Lord, God, lift up your hand. Do not forget the humble. Why has the wicked treated God disrespectfully? He has said to himself, You will not require an account. You have seen it, for you have looked at harm and provocation to take it into your hand. The unfortunate commits himself to you, you have been the helper of the orphan. Break the arm of the wicked and the evildoer, seek out his wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever, nations have perished from his land. Lord, you have heard the desire of the humble, you will strengthen their heart, you will make your ear attentive. To vindicate the orphan and the oppressed, so that mankind, which is of the earth, 
will no longer cause terror. In the Lord I take refuge, how can you say to my soul, Flee as a bird to your mountain? For, behold, the wicked bend the bow, they have set their arrow on the string to shoot in darkness at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven, his eyes see, his eyelids test the sons of mankind. The Lord tests the righteous and the wicked, and his soul hates one who loves violence. He will rain coals of fire upon the wicked, and brimstone and burning wind will be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous, he loves righteousness, the upright will see his face. Help, Lord, for the godly person has come to an end, for the faithful have disappeared from the sons of mankind. They speak lies to one another, they speak with flattering lips and a double heart. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that speaks great things. Who have said, With our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? Because of the devastation of the poor, because of the groaning of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord, I will put him in the safety for which he longs. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in a furnace on the ground, filtered seven times. You, Lord, will keep them, you will protect him from this generation forever. The wicked strut about on every side when vileness is exalted among the sons of mankind. How long, Lord? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long am I to feel anxious in my soul, with grief in my heart all the day? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God, enlighten my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. And my enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my adversaries will rejoice when I am shaken. But I have trusted in your faithfulness, my heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has looked after me. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt, they have committed detestable acts, there is no one who does good. The Lord has looked down from heaven upon the sons of mankind to see if there are any who understand, who seek God. They have all turned aside, together they are corrupt, there is no one who does good, not even one. Do all the workers of injustice not know, who devour my people as they eat bread, and do not call upon the Lord? There they are in great dread, for God is with a righteous generation. You would put to shame the plan of the poor, but the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion! When the Lord restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob will rejoice, Israel will be glad. Lord, who may reside in your tent? Who may settle on your holy hill? One who walks with integrity, practices righteousness, and speaks truth in his heart. He does not slander with his tongue, nor do evil to his neighbor, nor bring shame on his friend. A despicable person is despised in his eyes, but he honors those who fear the Lord, he takes an oath to his own detriment, and does not change. He does not lend his money at interest, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. One who does these things will never be shaken. Protect me, God, for I take refuge in you. I said to the Lord, You are my Lord. I have nothing good besides you. As for the saints who are on the earth, they are the majestic ones, all my delight is in them. The pains of those who have acquired another god will be multiplied, I will not pour out their drink offerings of blood, nor will I take their names upon my lips. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and my cup, you support my lot. 
The measuring lines have fallen for me in pleasant places, indeed, my inheritance is beautiful to me. I will bless the Lord who has advised me, indeed, my mind instructs me in the night. I have set the Lord continually before me, because He is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my glory rejoices, my flesh also will dwell securely. For you will not abandon my soul to Sheol, you will not allow your Holy One to undergo decay. You will make known to me the way of life, in your presence is fullness of joy, in your right hand there are pleasures forever. Hear a just cause, Lord, give your attention to my cry, listen to my prayer, which is not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from your presence, let your eyes look with integrity. You have put my heart to the test, you have visited me by night, you have sifted me and you find nothing, my intent is that my mouth will not offend. As for the works of mankind, by the word of your lips I have kept from the ways of the violent. My steps have held to your paths. My feet have not slipped. I have called upon you, for you will answer me, God, incline your ear to me, hear my speech. Show your wonderful faithfulness, Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings. From the wicked who deal violently with me, my deadly enemies who surround me. They have closed their unfeeling hearts, with their mouths they speak proudly. They have now surrounded us in our steps, they set their eyes to cast us down to the ground. 12 He is like a lion that is eager to tear, and as a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, Lord, confront him, make him bow down, save my soul from the wicked with your sword. From people by your hand, Lord, from people of the world, whose portion is in this life, and whose belly you fill with your treasure, they are satisfied with children, and leave their abundance to their babies. As for me, I shall behold your face in righteousness, I shall be satisfied with your likeness when I awake. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my Savior, my God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The ropes of death encompassed me, and the torrents of destruction terrified me. The ropes of Sheol surrounded me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and cried to my God for help, He heard my voice from His temple, and my cry for help before Him came into His ears. Then the earth shook and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains were trembling and were shaken, because He was angry. Smoke went up out of his nostrils, and fire from his mouth was devouring, coals burned from it. He also bowed the heavens down low, and came down with thick darkness under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew, and he sped on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his hiding place, his canopy around him, darkness of waters, thick clouds. From the brightness before him passed his thick clouds, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows, and scattered them, and lightning flashes in abundance, and routed them. Then the channels of water appeared, and the foundations of the world were exposed by your rebuke, Lord at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from on high, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He saved me from my strong enemy, and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. 
He also brought me out into an open place, he rescued me, because he delighted in me. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands he has repaid me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not acted wickedly against my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless with him, and I kept myself from my wrongdoing. Therefore the Lord has repaid me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyes. With the faithful you show yourself faithful, with the blameless you prove yourself blameless. With the pure you show yourself pure, and with the crooked you show yourself astute. For you save an afflicted people, but you humiliate haughty eyes. For you light my lamp, the Lord my God illumines my darkness. For by you I can run at a troop of warriors, and by my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is blameless, the word of the Lord is refined, he is a shield to all who take refuge in him. For who is God, but the Lord? And who is a rock, except our God? The God who encircles me with strength, and makes my way blameless. He makes my feet like deer's feet, and sets me up on my high places. He trains my hands for battle, so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You have also given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand upholds me, and your gentleness makes me great. You enlarge my steps under me, and my feet have not slipped. I pursued my enemies and overtook them, and I did not turn back until they were consumed. I shattered them, so that they were not able to rise, they fell under my feet. For you have encircled me with strength for battle, you have forced those who rose up against me to bow down under me. You have also made my enemies turn their backs to me, and I destroyed those who hated me. They cried for help, but there was no one to save, they cried to the Lord, but he did not answer them. Then I beat them fine like the dust before the wind, I emptied them out like the mud of the streets. You have rescued me from the contentions of the people, you have placed me as head of the nations, a people whom I have not known serve me. As soon as they hear, they obey me, foreigners pretend to obey me. Foreigners lose heart, and come trembling out of their fortresses. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be the God of my salvation. The God who executes vengeance for me, and subdues peoples under me. He rescues me from my enemies, you indeed lift me above those who rise up against me, you rescue me from a violent man. Therefore I will give thanks to you among the nations, Lord, and I will sing praises to your name. He gives great salvation to his king, and shows faithfulness to his anointed, to David and his descendants forever. The heavens tell of the glory of God, and their expanse declares the work of his hands. Day to day pours forth speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out into all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has placed a tent for the sun, which is like a groom coming out of his chamber, it rejoices like a strong person to run his course. Its rising is from one end of the heavens, and its circuit to the other end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart, the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever, the judgments of the Lord are true, they are righteous altogether. They are more desirable than gold, yes, than much pure gold, sweeter also than honey in drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, your servant is warned by them, 
in keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Acquit me of hidden faults. Also keep your servant back from presumptuous sins, let them not rule over me, then I will be innocent, and I will be blameless of great wrongdoing. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord, my Rock and my Redeemer. May the Lord answer you on a day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May second he send you help from the sanctuary, and support you from Zion. May he remember all your meal offerings and accept your burnt offering. Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill your whole plan. We will sing for joy over your victory, and in the name of our God we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your desires. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed, he will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some praise their chariots and some their horses, but we will praise the name of the Lord, our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stood upright. Save, Lord, may the King answer us on the day we call. Lord, in your strength the King will be glad, and in your salvation how greatly he will rejoice. To you have given him his heart's desire, and you have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah 3 For you meet him with the blessings of good things, you set a crown of pure gold on his head. For he asked for life from you, you gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. His glory is great through your salvation, splendor and majesty you place upon him. For you make him most blessed forever, you make him joyful with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the faithfulness of the Most High he will not be shaken. Your hand will find all your enemies, your right hand will find those who hate you. You will make them as a fiery oven in the time of your anger, the Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will devour them. You will eliminate their descendants from the earth, and their children from among the sons of mankind. Though they intended evil against you and devised a plot, they will not succeed. For you will make them turn their back, you will take aim at their faces with your bowstrings. Be exalted, Lord, in your strength, we will sing and praise your power. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far from my help are the words of my groaning. To my God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I have no rest. Yet you are holy, you who are enthroned upon the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted, they trusted and you rescued them. To you they cried out and they fled to safety, in you they trusted and were not disappointed. But I am a worm and not a person, a disgrace of mankind and despised by the people. All who see me deride me, they sneer, they shake their heads, saying, Turn him over to the Lord, let him save him, let him rescue him, because he delights in him. Yet you are he who brought me forth from the womb, you made me trust when upon my mother's breasts. I was cast upon you from birth, you have been my God from my mother's womb. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, for there is no one to help. Many bulls have surrounded me, strong bulls of Bashan have encircled me. They open their mouths wide at me, as a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint, my heart is like wax, it is melted within me. My strength is dried up like a piece of pottery, and my tongue clings to my jaws, and you lay me in the dust of death. For dogs have surrounded me, a band of evildoers has encompassed me, they pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. They look, they stare at me. 
They divide my garments among them, and they cast lots for my clothing. But you, Lord, do not be far away, you who are my help, hurry to my assistance. Save my soul from the sword, my only life from the power of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, from the horns of the wild oxen you answer me. I will proclaim your name to my brothers, in the midst of the assembly I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him, all you descendants of Jacob, glorify him, and stand in awe of him, all you descendants of Israel. For he has not despised nor scorned the suffering of the afflicted, nor has he hidden his face from him, but when he cried to him for help, he heard. From you comes my praise in the great assembly, I shall pay my vows before those who fear him. The afflicted will eat and be satisfied, those who seek him will praise the Lord. May your heart live forever. All the ends of the earth will remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations will worship before you. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth will eat and worship, all those who go down to the dust will kneel before him, even he who cannot keep his soul alive. A posterity will serve him, it will be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They will come and will declare his righteousness to a people who will be born, that he has performed it. The Lord is my shepherd, I will not be in need. He lets me lie down in green pastures, he leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul, he guides me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, you have anointed my head with oil, my cup overflows. Certainly goodness and faithfulness will follow me all the days of my life, and my dwelling will be in the house of the Lord forever. The earth is the Lord's, and all it contains, the world, and those who live in it. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who may ascend onto the hill of the Lord? And who may stand in his holy place? One who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to deceit and has not sworn deceitfully. He will receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, even Jacob. Selah. Lift up your heads, you gates, and be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates, and lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord of Armies, He is the King of Glory. Selah. To you, Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, in you I trust, do not let me be ashamed, do not let my enemies rejoice over me. Indeed, none of those who wait for you will be ashamed, those who deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed. Make me know your ways, Lord, teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation, for you I wait all the day. Remember, Lord, your compassion and your faithfulness, for they have been from of old. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my wrongdoings, remember me according to your faithfulness, for your goodness sake, Lord. The Lord is good and upright, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in justice, and he teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are faithfulness and truth to those who comply with his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of your name, Lord, forgive my wrongdoing, for it is great. 
Who is the person who fears the Lord? He will instruct him in the way he should choose. His soul will dwell in prosperity, and his descendants will inherit the land. The secret of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will make them know his covenant. My eyes are continually toward the Lord, for he will rescue my feet from the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged, bring me out of my distresses. Look at my misery and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Look at my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with violent hatred. Guard my soul and save me, do not let me be ashamed, for I take refuge in you. Let integrity and uprightness protect me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, God, from all his distress. Vindicate me, Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Examine me, Lord, and put me to the test, refine my mind and my heart. For your goodness is before my eyes, and I have walked in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful people, nor will I go with pretenders. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, and I will go around your altar, Lord. That I may proclaim with the voice of thanksgiving and declare all your wonders. Lord, I love the dwelling of your house, and the place where your glory remains. Do not take my soul away along with sinners, nor my life with men of bloodshed. In whose hands is a wicked scheme, and whose right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in my integrity, redeem me, and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground, in the congregations I will bless the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life, whom should I dread? When evildoers came upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries, and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. If an army encamps against me, my heart will not fear, if war arises against me, in spite of this I am confident. One thing I have asked from the Lord, that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. For on the day of trouble he will conceal me in his tabernacle, he will hide me in the secret place of his tent, he will lift me up on a rock. And now my head will be lifted up above my enemies around me, and I will offer sacrifices in his tent with shouts of joy, I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, Lord, when I cry with my voice, and be gracious to me and answer me. When you said, Seek my face, my heart said to you, I shall seek your face, Lord. Do not hide your face from me, do not turn your servant away in anger, you have been my help, do not abandon me nor forsake me, God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, Lord, and lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Do not turn me over to the desire of my enemies, for false witnesses have risen against me, and a violent witness. I certainly believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord, be strong and let your heart take courage, yes, wait for the Lord. To you, Lord, I call, my rock, do not be deaf to me, for if you are silent to me, I will become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the sound of my pleadings when I cry to you for help, when I raise my hands toward your holy sanctuary. Do not drag me away with the wicked and with those who practice injustice, who speak peace with their neighbors, while evil is in their hearts. Give back to them according to their work and according to the evil of their practices, give back to them according to the work of their hands, 
repay them what is due them. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the deeds of his hands, he will tear them down and not build them up. Blessed be the Lord, because he has heard the sound of my pleading. The Lord is my strength and my shield, my heart trusts in him, and I am helped, therefore my heart triumphs, and with my song I shall thank him. The Lord is their strength, and he is a refuge of salvation to his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance, be their shepherd also, and carry them forever. Ascribe to the Lord, sons of the mighty, ascribe to the Lord glory in strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name, worship the Lord in holy attire. The voice of the Lord is on the waters, the God of glory thunders, the Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful, the voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars, yes, the Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon in pieces. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf, and Sirion like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord divides flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forests bare, and in his temple everything says, Glory. The Lord sat as king at the flood, yes, the Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people, the Lord will bless his people with peace. I will exalt you, Lord, for you have lifted me up, and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. Too Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you healed me. Lord, you have brought up my soul from Sheol, you have kept me alive, that I would not go down to the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his godly ones, and praise the mention of his holiness. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may last for the night, but a shout of joy comes in the morning. Now as for me, I said in my prosperity, I will never be moved. Lord, by your favor you have made my mountain to stand strong, you hid your face, I was dismayed. To you, Lord, I called, and to the Lord I pleaded for compassion. What gain is there in my blood, if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your faithfulness? Hear, Lord, and be gracious to me, Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing for me, you have untied my sackcloth and encircled me with joy. That my soul may sing praise to you and not be silent. Lord my God, I will give thanks to you forever. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge, let me never be put to shame, in your righteousness rescue me. Incline your ear to me, rescue me quickly, be a rock of strength for me, a stronghold to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name you will lead me and guide me. You will pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me, for you are my strength. Into your hand I entrust my spirit, you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I hate those who devote themselves to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in your faithfulness, because you have seen my misery, you have known the troubles of my soul. And you have not handed me over to the enemy, you have set my feet in a large place. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I am in distress, my eye is wasted away from grief, my soul and my body too. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing, my strength has failed because of my guilt, and my body has wasted away. Because of all my adversaries, I have become a disgrace, especially to my neighbors, and an object of dread to my acquaintances those who see me in the street flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead person, out of mind, 
I am like a broken vessel. For I have heard the slander of many, terror is on every side, while they took counsel together against me, they schemed to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand, rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servant, save me in your faithfulness. Let me not be put to shame, Lord, for I call upon you, let the wicked be put to shame, let them be silent in Sheol. Let the lying lips be speechless, which speak arrogantly against the righteous with pride and contempt. How great is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you, which you have performed for those who take refuge in you, before the sons of mankind. You hide them in the secret place of your presence from the conspiracies of mankind, you keep them secretly in a shelter from the strife of tongues. 21 Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown his marvelous faithfulness to me in a besieged city. As for me, I said in my alarm, I am cut off from your eyes, nevertheless you heard the sound of my pleadings when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his godly ones. The Lord watches over the faithful but fully repays the one who acts arrogantly. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. How blessed is he whose wrongdoing is forgiven, whose sin is covered. 2. How blessed is a person whose guilt the Lord does not take into account, and in whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent about my sin, my body wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me, my vitality failed as with the dry heat of summer. Selah. I acknowledged my sin to you, and I did not hide my guilt, I said, I will confess my wrongdoings to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Selah. Therefore, let everyone who is godly pray to you in a time when you may be found, certainly in a flood of great waters, they will not reach him. 7. You are my hiding place, you keep me from trouble, you surround me with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go, I will advise you with my eye upon you. Do not be like the horse or like the mule, which have no understanding, whose trappings include bit and bridle to hold them in check, otherwise they will not come near to you. The sorrows of the wicked are many, but the one who trusts in the Lord, goodness will surround him. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones and shout for joy, all you who are upright in heart. Sing for joy in the Lord, you righteous ones, praise is becoming to the upright. Give thanks to the Lord with the lyre, sing praises to Him with a harp of ten strings. Sing to Him a new song, play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the word of the Lord is right, and all His work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and by the breath of his mouth all their lights. He gathers the waters of the sea together as a heap, he puts the depths in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke, and it was done, he commanded, and it stood firm. The Lord nullifies the plan of nations, He frustrates the plans of peoples. The plan of the Lord stands forever, the plans of His heart from generation to generation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people He has chosen for His own inheritance. The Lord looks from heaven, He sees all the sons of mankind. From his dwelling place he looks out on all the inhabitants of the earth. He who fashions the hearts of them all, he who understands all their works. The king is not saved by a mighty army, a warrior is not rescued by great strength.
A horse is a false hope for victory, nor does it rescue anyone by its great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is on those who fear Him, on those who wait for His faithfulness. To rescue their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waits for the Lord, He is our help and our shield. For our heart rejoices in Him, because we trust in His holy name. Let your favor, Lord, be upon us, just as we have waited for you. I will bless the Lord at all times, His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord, the humble will hear it and rejoice. Exalt the Lord with me, and let's exalt His name together. I sought the Lord and He answered me, and rescued me from all my fears. They looked to Him and were radiant, and their faces will never be ashamed. This wretched man cried out, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and rescues them. Taste and see that the Lord is good, how blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints, for to those who fear him there is no lack of anything. The young lions do without and suffer hunger, but they who seek the Lord will not lack any good thing. Come, you children, listen to me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the person who desires life and loves length of days, that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous, and his ears are toward their cry for help. The face of the Lord is against evildoers, to eliminate the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. The afflictions of the righteous are many, but the Lord rescues him from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil will bring death to the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will suffer for their guilt. The Lord redeem. Contend, Lord, with those who contend with me, fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of buckler and shield and rise up as my help. Draw also the spear and the battle-axe to meet those who pursue me, say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be ashamed and dishonored who seek my life, let those be turned back and humiliated who devise evil against me. Let them be like chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord driving them on. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For they hid their net for me without cause, without cause they dug a pit for my soul. Let destruction come upon him when he is unaware, and let the net which he hid catch him, let him fall into that very destruction. So my soul shall rejoice in the Lord, it shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones will say, Lord, who is like you, who rescues the afflicted from one who is too strong for him, and the afflicted and the poor from one who robs him. Malicious witnesses rise up, they ask me things that I do not know. They repay me evil for good, to the bereavement of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth, I humbled my soul with fasting, but my prayer kept returning to me. I went about as though it were my friend or brother, I bowed down in mourning, like one who mourns for a mother. But at my stumbling they rejoiced and gathered themselves together, the afflicted people whom I did not know gathered together against me, they slandered me without ceasing. Like godless jesters at a feast, they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their ravages, my only life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation, I will praise you among a mighty people. 
Do not let those who are wrongfully my enemies rejoice over me, nor let those who hate me for no reason wink maliciously. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful words against those who are quiet in the land. They opened their mouth wide against me, they said, Aha, aha! Our eyes have seen it. You have seen it, Lord, do not keep silent, Lord, do not be far from me. Stir yourself, and awake to my right and to my cause, my God and my Lord. Judge me, Lord my God, according to your righteousness, and do not let them rejoice over me. Do not let them say in their heart, Aha, our desire. Do not let them say, We have swallowed him up. May those be ashamed and altogether humiliated who rejoice at my distress, may those who exalt themselves over me be clothed with shame and dishonor. May those shout for joy and rejoice, who take delight in my vindication, and may they say continually, The Lord be exalted, who delights in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall proclaim your righteousness and your praise all day long. Wrongdoing speaks to the ungodly within his heart, there is no fear of God before his eyes. For it flatters him in his own eyes concerning the discovery of his wrongful deed and the hatred of it. The words of his mouth are wickedness and deceit, he has ceased to be wise and to do good. He plans wickedness on his bed, he sets himself on a path that is not good, he does not reject evil. Your mercy, Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God, your judgments are like the great deep. Lord, you protect mankind and animals. How precious is your mercy, God! And the sons of mankind take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They drink their fill of the abundance of your house, and you allow them to drink from the river of your delights. For the fountain of life is with you, in your light we see light. Prolong your mercy to those who know you, and your righteousness to the upright of heart. May the foot of pride not come upon me, and may the hand of the wicked not drive me away. Those who do injustice have fallen there, they have been thrust down and cannot rise. Do not get upset because of evildoers, do not be envious of wrongdoers. Two for they will wither quickly like the grass, and decay like the green plants. Three trust in the Lord and do good, live in the land and cultivate faithfulness. For delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Five commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He will do it. He will bring out your righteousness as the light, and your judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him, do not get upset because of one who is successful in his way, because of the person who carries out wicked schemes. Cease from anger and abandon wrath, do not get upset, it leads only to evil doing. For evil doers will be eliminated, but those who wait for the Lord, they will inherit the land. Yet a little while and the wicked person will be no more, and you will look carefully for his place and he will not be there. But the humble will inherit the land and will delight themselves in abundant prosperity. The wicked plots against the righteous, and gnashes at him with his teeth. The Lord laughs at him, for he sees that his day is coming. The wicked have drawn the sword and bent their bow to take down the afflicted and the needy, to kill off those who are upright in conduct. Their sword will enter their own heart, and their bows will be broken. Better is the little of the righteous than the abundance of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord sustains the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the blameless, and their inheritance will be forever. They will not be ashamed in the time of evil, and in the days of famine they will have plenty. But the wicked will perish, 
and the enemies of the Lord will be like the glory of the pastures, they vanish, like smoke they vanish away. The wicked borrows and does not pay back, but the righteous is gracious and gives. For those blessed by him will inherit the land, but those cursed by him will be eliminated. The steps of a man are established by the Lord, and he delights in his way. When he falls, he will not be hurled down, because the Lord is the one who holds his hand. I have been young and now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken or his descendants begging for bread. All day long he is gracious and lends, and his descendants are a blessing. Turn from evil and do good, so that you will dwell forever. For the Lord loves justice and does not abandon his godly ones, they are protected forever, but the descendants of the wicked will be eliminated. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks justice. The law of his God is in his heart, his steps do not slip. The wicked spies upon the righteous and seeks to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his hand or let him be condemned when he is judged. Wait for the Lord and keep his way, and he will exalt you to inherit the land, when the wicked are eliminated, you will see it. I have seen a wicked, violent person spreading himself like a luxuriant tree in its native soil. Then he passed away, and behold, he was no more, I searched for him, but he could not be found. Observe the blameless person, and look at the upright, for the person of peace will have a future. But wrongdoers will altogether be destroyed, the future of the wicked will be eliminated. But the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord, he is their strength in time of trouble. The Lord helps them and rescues them, he rescues them from the wicked and saves them, because they take refuge in him. Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, and do not punish me in your burning anger. For your arrows have sunk deep into me, and your hand has pressed down on me. There is no healthy part in my flesh because of your indignation, there is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my guilty deeds have gone over my head, like a heavy burden they weigh too much for me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my foolishness. I am bent over and greatly bowed down, I go in mourning all day long. For my sides are filled with burning, and there is no healthy part in my flesh. I feel faint and badly crushed, I groan because of the agitation of my heart. Lord, all my desire is before you, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even that has gone from me. My loved ones and my friends stand aloof from my plague, and my kinsmen stand far away. Those who seek my life lay snares for me, and those who seek to injure me have threatened destruction, and they plot deception all day long. But I, like a person who is deaf, do not hear, and I am like a person who cannot speak, who does not open his mouth. Yes, I am like a person who does not hear, and in whose mouth are no arguments. For I wait for you, Lord, you will answer, Lord my God. For I said, May they not rejoice over me, who, when my foot slips, would exalt themselves over me. For I am ready to fall, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I admit my guilt, I am full of anxiety because of my sin. But my enemies are vigorous and strong, and those who wrongfully hate me are many. And those who repay evil for good, they become my enemies, because I follow what is good. Do not abandon me, Lord, my God, do not be far from me. Hurry to help me, Lord, my salvation. I said, I will keep watch over my ways so that I do not sin with my tongue, 
I will keep watch over my mouth as with a muzzle while the wicked are in my presence. I was mute and silent, I refused to say even something good, and my pain was stirred up. My heart was hot within me, while I was musing the fire burned, then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end, and what is the extent of my days, let me know how transient I am. Behold, you have made my days like hand widths, and my lifetime is nothing in your sight, certainly all mankind standing is a mere breath. Selah. Certainly every person walks around as a fleeting shadow, they certainly make an uproar for nothing, he amasses riches and does not know who will gather them. And now, Lord, for what do I wait? My hope is in you. Save me from all my wrongdoings, do not make me an object of reproach for the foolish. I have become mute, I do not open my mouth, because it is you who have done it. Remove your plague from me, because of the opposition of your hand I am perishing. With rebukes you punish a person for wrongdoing, you consume like a moth what is precious to him, certainly all mankind is mere breath. Selah. Hear my prayer, Lord, and listen to my cry for help, do not be silent to my tears, for I am a stranger with you, one who lives abroad, like all my fathers. Turn your eyes away from me, that I may become cheerful again before I depart and am no more. I waited patiently for the Lord, and He reached down to me and heard my cry. 2. He brought me up out of the pit of destruction, out of the mud, and he set my feet on a rock, making my footsteps firm. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God, many will see and fear and will trust in the Lord. How blessed is the man who has made the Lord his trust, and has not turned to the proud, nor to those who become involved in falsehood. Many, Lord my God, are the wonders which you have done, and your thoughts toward us, there is no one to compare with you. If I would declare and speak of them, they would be too numerous to count. You have not desired sacrifice and meal offering, you have opened my ears, you have not required burnt offering and sin offering. Then I said, Behold, I have come, it is written of me in the scroll of the book. I delight to do your will, my God, your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed good news of righteousness in the great congregation, behold, I will not restrain my lips, Lord, you know. I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart, I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation, I have not concealed your mercy and your truth from the great congregation. You, Lord, will not withhold your compassion from me, your mercy and your truth will continually watch over me. For evils beyond number have surrounded me, my guilty deeds have overtaken me, so that I am not able to see, they are more numerous than the hairs of my head, and my heart has failed me. Be pleased, Lord, to rescue me, hurry, Lord, to help me. May those be ashamed and humiliated together who seek my life to destroy it, may those be turned back and dishonored who delight in my hurt. May those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha, Aha. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, may those who love your salvation continually say, The Lord be exalted. But I am afflicted and needy, may the Lord be mindful of me. You are my help and my Savior, do not delay, my God. Blessed is one who considers the helpless, the Lord will save him on a day of trouble. The Lord will protect him and keep him alive, and he will be called blessed upon the earth, and do not turn him over to the desire of his enemies. The Lord will sustain him upon his sickbed, in his illness, you restore him to health. As for me, I said, Lord, be gracious to me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil against me, 
when will he die, and his name perish? And when he comes to see me, he speaks empty words, his heart gathers wickedness to itself, when he goes outside, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me, they plot my harm against me, saying. A wicked thing is poured out upon him, so that when he lies down, he will not get up again. Even my close friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you are pleased with me, because my enemy does not shout in triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity, and you place me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. As the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul pants for you, God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God, when shall I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? I remember these things and pour out my soul within me. For I used to go over with the multitude and walk them to the house of God, with a voice of joy and thanksgiving, a multitude celebrating a festival. Why are you in despair, my soul? And why are you restless within me? Wait for God, for I will again praise Him for the help of His presence, my God. My soul is in despair within me, therefore I remember you from the land of the Jordan and the peaks of Hermon, from Mount Mizar. Deep calls to deep at the sound of your waterfalls, all your breakers and your waves have passed over me. The Lord will send His goodness in the daytime, and His song will be with me in the night, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? As a shattering of my bones, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you in despair, my soul? And why are you restless within me? Wait for God, for I will again praise Him for the help of His presence, my God. Vindicate me, God, and plead my case against an ungodly nation, save me from the deceitful and unjust person. For you are the God of my strength, why have you rejected me? Why do I go about mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? Send out your light and your truth, they shall lead me, they shall bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling places. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you on the lyre, God, my God. Why are you in despair, my soul? And why are you restless within me? Wait for God, for I will again praise Him for the help of His presence, my God. God, we have heard with our ears, our fathers have told us the work that you did in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, then you planted them, you afflicted the peoples, then you let them go free. For by their own sword they did not possess the land, and their own arm did not save them, but your right hand and your arm and the light of your presence, for you favored them. You are my King, God, command victories for Jacob. Through you we will push back our adversaries, through your name we will trample down those who rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow, nor will my sword save me. But you have saved us from our adversaries, and you have put to shame those who hate us. In God we have boasted all day long, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Selah 9 Yet you have rejected us and brought us to dishonor, and do not go out with our armies. You cause us to turn back from the enemy, and those who hate us have taken spoils for themselves. You turn us over to be eaten like sheep, and have scattered us among the nations. 
You sell your people cheaply, and have not profited by their sale. You make us an object of reproach to our neighbors, of scoffing and ridicule to those around us. You make us a proverb among the nations, a laughingstock among the peoples. All day long my dishonor is before me and I am covered with my humiliation. Because of the voice of one who taunts and reviles, because of the presence of the enemy and the avenger. All this has come upon us, but we have not forgotten you, and we have not dealt falsely with your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, and our steps have not deviated from your way. Yet you have crushed us in a place of jackals and covered us with deep darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God or extended our hands to a strange God, would God not find this out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. But for your sake we are killed all day long, we are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. Wake yourself up, why do you sleep, Lord? Awake, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our affliction and oppression? For our souls have sunk down into the dust, our bodies cling to the earth. Rise up, be our help, and redeem us because of your mercy. My heart is moved with a good theme, I address my verses to the king, my tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are the most handsome of the sons of mankind, grace is poured upon your lips, therefore God has blessed you forever. Strap your sword on your thigh, mighty one, in your splendor and majesty. And in your majesty ride on victoriously, for the cause of truth, humility, and righteousness, let your right hand teach you awesome things. Your arrows are sharp, the peoples fall under you, your arrows are in the heart of the king's enemies. Your throne, God, is forever and ever, the scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy above your companions. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes, and cassia, from ivory palaces stringed instruments have made you joyful. King's daughters are among your noble women, at your right hand stands the queen in gold from Ophir. Listen, daughter, look and incline your ear, forget your people and your father's house. Then the king will crave your beauty. Because he is your lord, bow down to him. The daughter of Tyre will come with a gift, the wealthy among the people will seek your favor. The king's daughter is all glorious within, her clothing is interwoven with gold. She will be brought to the king in colorful garments, the virgins, her companions who follow her, will be brought to you. They will be brought with joy and rejoicing, they will enter into the king's palace. In place of your fathers will be your sons, you shall make them princes in all the earth. I will make your name known among all generations, therefore the peoples will praise you forever and ever. God is our refuge and strength, a very ready help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth shakes and the mountains slip into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride. Selah. There is a river whose streams make the city of God happy, the holy dwelling places of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she will not be moved, God will help her when morning dawns. The nations made an uproar, the kingdoms tottered, he raised his voice, the earth quaked. The Lord of armies is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah 8 Come, behold the works of the Lord, who has inflicted horrific events on the earth. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth, he breaks the bow and cuts the spear in two, he burns the chariots with fire. Stop striving and know that I am God, I will be exalted among the nations, 
I will be exalted on the earth. The Lord of armies is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Selah. Clap your hands, all you peoples, shout to God with a voice of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared, a great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. Selah. God has ascended with a shout, the Lord, with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with a psalm of wisdom. God reigns over the nations, God sits on His holy throne. The princes of the people have assembled as the people of the God of Abraham, for the shields of the earth belong to God, He is highly exalted. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, His holy mountain. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth, is Mount Zion in the far north, the city of the great King. In its palaces, God has made Himself known as a stronghold. For, behold, the kings arrived, they passed by together. They saw it, then they were amazed they were terrified, they fled in a hurry. Panic seized them there, anguish, as that of a woman in childbirth. With the east wind you smash the ships of Tarshish. Just as we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of armies, in the city of our God, God will establish her forever. Selah. We have thought over your goodness, God, in the midst of your temple. As is your name, God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth, your right hand is full of righteousness. Mount Zion shall be glad, the daughters of Judah shall rejoice because of your judgments. Walk around Zion and encircle her, count her towers. Consider her ramparts, go through her palaces, so that you may tell of her to the next generation. For such is God, our God forever and ever, He will lead us until death. Hear this, all peoples, listen, all inhabitants of the world. Both low and high, rich and poor together. My mouth will speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart will be understanding. I will incline my ear to a proverb, I will express my riddle on the harp. Why should I fear in days of adversity? when the injustice of those who betray me surrounds me. Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the abundance of their riches. No one can by any means redeem another or give God a ransom for him. For the redemption of his soul is priceless, and he should cease imagining forever. That he might live on eternally, that he might not undergo decay. For he sees that even wise people die, the foolish and the stupid alike perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inner thought is that their houses are forever and their dwelling places to all generations, they have named their lands after their own names. But man in his splendor will not endure, he is like the animals that perish. This is the way of those who are foolish, and of those after them who approve their words. Selah like sheep they sink down to Sheol, death will be their shepherd, and the upright will rule over them in the morning, and their form shall be for Sheol to consume so that they have no lofty home. But God will redeem my soul from the power of Sheol, for he will receive me. Selah. Do not be afraid when a person becomes rich, when the splendor of his house is increased. For when he dies, he will take nothing with him, his wealth will not descend after him. Though while he lives he congratulates himself, and though people praise you when you do well for yourself. He will go to the generation of his fathers, they will never see the light. Mankind in its splendor, 
yet without understanding, is like the animals that perish. The Mighty One, God, the Lord, has spoken and summoned the earth, from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shown. May our God come and not keep silent, fire devours before him, and a storm is violently raging around him. He summons the heavens above, and the earth, to judge his people. Gather my godly ones to me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, my people, and I will speak, Israel, I will testify against you, I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices, and your burnt offerings are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your house, nor male goats from your folds. For every animal of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains, and everything that moves in the field is mine. If I were hungry I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and everything it contains. Shall I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of male goats? Offer God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me on the day of trouble, I will rescue you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked God says, What right do you have to tell of my statutes and to take my covenant in your mouth? For you yourself hate discipline, and you throw my words behind you. When you see a thief, you become friends with him and you associate with adulterers. You let your mouth loose in evil, and your tongue harnesses deceit. You sit and speak against your brother, you slander your own mother's son. These things you have done and I kept silent, you thought that I was just like you, I will rebuke you and present the case before your eyes. Now consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you in pieces, and there will be no one to save you. He who offers a sacrifice of thanksgiving honors me, and to him who sets his way properly I will show the salvation of God. Be gracious to me, God, according to your faithfulness, according to the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my wrongdoings. Wash me thoroughly from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my wrongdoings, and my sin is constantly before me. Against you, you only, I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in guilt, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the innermost being, and in secret you will make wisdom known to me. Purify me with hyssop, and I will be clean, cleanse me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness, let the bones you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and wipe out all my guilty deeds. Create in me a clean heart, God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach wrongdoers your ways, and sinners will be converted to you. Save me from the guilt of bloodshed, God, the God of my salvation, then my tongue will joyfully sing of your righteousness. Lord, open my lips, so that my mouth may declare your praise. For you do not delight in sacrifice, otherwise I would give it, you do not take pleasure in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, God, you will not despise. By your favor do good to Zion, build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in righteous sacrifices, in burnt offering and whole burnt offering, then bulls will be offered on your altar. Why do you boast in evil, you mighty man? 
The faithfulness of God endures all day long. Your tongue devises destruction, like a sharp razor, you worker of deceit. You love evil more than good, lies more than speaking what is right. Selah. You love all words that devour, you deceitful tongue. But God will break you down forever, He will snatch you up and tear you away from your tent, and uproot you from the land of the living. Selah. The righteous will see and fear, and they will laugh at Him, saying, Behold, the man who would not make God his refuge, but trusted in the abundance of his riches and was strong in his evil desire. But as for me, I am like a green olive tree in the house of God, I trust in the faithfulness of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever, because you have done it, and I will wait on your name, for it is good, in the presence of your godly ones. The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt, and have committed abominable injustice, there is no one who does good. God has looked down from heaven upon the sons of mankind to see if there is anyone who understands, who seeks after God. Every one of them has turned aside, together they have become corrupt, there is no one who does good, not even one. Have the workers of injustice no knowledge, who eat up my people like they ate bread? and have not called upon God. They were in great fear there, where no fear had been, for God scattered the bones of him who encamped against you, you put them to shame, because God had rejected them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come from Zion! When God restores the fortunes of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, Israel shall be glad. Save me, God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, God, listen to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me and violent men have sought my life, they have not set God before them. Selah. Behold, God is my helper, the Lord is the sustainer of my soul. He will pay back the evil to my enemies, destroy them in your faithfulness. Willingly I will sacrifice to you, I will praise your name, Lord, for it is good. For he has saved me from all trouble, and my eye has looked with satisfaction upon my enemies. Listen to my prayer, God, and do not hide yourself from my pleading. Give your attention to me and answer me, I am restless in my complaint and severely distracted. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the pressure of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me and in anger they hold a grudge against me. My heart is in anguish within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Behold, I would flee far away, I would spend my nights in the wilderness. Selah. I would hurry to my place of refuge from the stormy wind and heavy gale. Confuse them, Lord, divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around her upon her walls, and evil and harm are in her midst. Destruction is in her midst, oppression and deceit do not depart from her streets. For it is not an enemy who taunts me, then I could endure it, nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide myself from him. But it is you, a man my equal, my companion and my confidant. We who had sweet fellowship together, walked in the house of God among the commotion. May death come deceitfully upon them, may they go down alive to Sheol, for evil is in their dwelling, in their midst. As for me, I shall call upon God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will complain and moan, and He will hear my voice. 
He will redeem my soul in peace from the battle which is against me, for they are many who are aggressive toward me. God will hear and humiliate them, even the one who sits enthroned from ancient times, Selah with whom there is no change, and who do not fear God. He has put forth his hands against those who were at peace with him, he has violated his covenant. His speech was smoother than butter, but his heart was war, his words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you, he will never allow the righteous to be shaken. But you, God, will bring them down to the pit of destruction, men of bloodshed and deceit will not live out half their days. But I will trust in you. Be gracious to me, God, for a man has trampled upon me, fighting all day long he oppresses me. My enemies have trampled upon me all day long, for they are many who fight proudly against me. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise, in God I have put my trust, I shall not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? All day long they distort my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They attack, they lurk, they watch my steps, as they have waited to take my life. Because of their wickedness, will there be an escape for them? In anger make the peoples fall down, God. You have taken account of my miseries, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will turn back on the day when I call, this I know, that God is for me. In God, whose word I praise, in the Lord, whose word I praise. In God I have put my trust, I shall not be afraid. What can mankind do to me? Your vows are binding upon me, God, I will render thanksgiving offerings to you. For you have saved my soul from death, indeed my feet from stumbling, so that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Be gracious to me, God, be gracious to me, for my soul takes refuge in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will take refuge until destruction passes by. Two I will cry to God Most High, to God who accomplishes all things for me. He will send from heaven and save me, he rebukes the one who tramples upon me. Selah God will send his favor and his truth. My soul is among lions, I must lie among those who devour, among sons of mankind whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue is a sharp sword. Be exalted above the heavens, God, may your glory be above all the earth. They have prepared a net for my steps, my soul is bowed down, they dug a pit before me, they themselves have fallen into the midst of it. Selah. My heart is steadfast, God, my heart is steadfast, I will sing, yes, I will sing praises. Awake, my glory. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, Lord, among the peoples, I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your goodness is great to the heavens and your truth to the clouds. Be exalted above the heavens, God, may your glory be above all the earth. Do you indeed speak righteousness, you gods? Do you judge fairly, you sons of mankind? No, in heart you practice injustice, on earth you clear away for the violence of your hands. The wicked have turned away from the womb, these who speak lies go astray from birth. They have venom like the venom of a serpent, like a deaf cobra that stops up its ear. So that it does not hear the voice of charmers, or a skillful caster of spells. God, shatter their teeth in their mouth, break out the fangs of the young lions, Lord. May they flow away like water that runs off, when he aims his arrows, may they be as headless shafts. May they be like a snail which goes along in slime, 
like the miscarriage of a woman that never sees the sun. Before your pots can feel the fire of thorns he will sweep them away with a whirlwind, the green and the burning alike. The righteous will rejoice when he sees vengeance, he will wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. And people will say, there certainly is a reward for the righteous, there certainly is a God who judges on the earth. Rescue me from my enemies, my God, set me securely on high away from those who rise up against me. Rescue me from those who practice injustice, and save me from men of bloodshed. For behold, they have set an ambush for my life, fierce men attack me, not for my wrongdoing nor for my sin, Lord. For no guilt of mine, they run and take their stand against me. Stir yourself to help me, and see. You, Lord God of armies, the God of Israel, awake to punish all the nations, do not be gracious to any who deal treacherously in wrongdoing. Selah. They return at evening, they howl like a dog, and prowl around the city. Behold, they gush forth with their mouths, swords are in their lips, for, they say, who hears? But you, Lord, laugh at them, you scoff at all the nations. Because of his strength I will watch for you, for God is my refuge. My God in his faithfulness will meet me, God will let me look triumphantly upon my enemies. Do not kill them, or my people will forget, scatter them by your power and bring them down, Lord, our shield. On account of the sin of their mouths and the words of their lips, may they even be caught in their pride, and on account of curses and lies which they tell. Destroy them in wrath, destroy them so that they will no longer exist, so that people may know that God rules in Jacob, to the ends of the earth. Selah. They return at evening, they howl like a dog, and prowl around the city. They wander about for food and murmur if they are not satisfied. But as for me, I will sing of your strength, yes, I will joyfully sing of your faithfulness in the morning, for you have been my refuge and a place of refuge on the day of my distress. My strength, I will sing praises to you, for God is my refuge, the God who shows me favor. God, you have rejected us. You have broken us, you have been angry, restore us. You have made the land quake, you have split it open, heal its cracks, for its ways. You have made your people experience hardship, you have given us wine to drink that makes us stagger. You have given a banner to those who fear you, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Selah. That your beloved may be rescued, save us with your right hand, and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness, I will triumph, I will divide up Shechem, and measure out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the helmet of my head, Judah is my scepter. Moab is my washbowl, I will throw my sandal over Edom, shout loud, Philistia, because of me. Who will bring me into the besieged city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you yourself not rejected us, God? And will you not go out with our armies, God. O oh, give us help against the enemy, for rescue by man is worthless. Through God we will do valiantly, and it is He who will trample down our enemies. Hear my cry, God, give your attention to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call to you when my heart is faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been a refuge for me, a tower of strength against the enemy. Let me dwell in your tent forever, let me take refuge in the shelter of your wings. Selah. For you have heard my vows, God, you have given me the inheritance of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life, his years will be like generations. 
He will sit enthroned before God forever, appoint faithfulness and truth that they may watch over him. So I will sing praise to your name forever, that I may pay my vows day by day. My soul waits in silence for God alone, from him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, I will not be greatly shaken. How long will you attack a man, that you may murder him, all of you, like a leaning wall, like a tottering fence? They have planned only to thrust him down from his high position, they delight in falsehood, they bless with their mouth, but inwardly they curse. Selah My soul, wait in silence for God alone, for my hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my refuge, I will not be shaken. My salvation and my glory rest on God, the rock of my strength, my refuge is in God. Trust in Him at all times, you people, pour out your hearts before Him, God is a refuge for us. Selah People of low standing are only breath, and people of rank are a lie, in the balances they go up. Together they are lighter than breath. Do not trust in oppression, and do not vainly rely on robbery, if wealth increases, do not set your heart on it. God has spoken once, twice I have heard this, that power belongs to God. And faithfulness is yours, Lord, for you reward a person according to his work. God, you are my God, I shall be watching for you, my soul thirsts for you, my flesh yearns for you, in a dry and exhausted land where there is no water. So have I seen you in the sanctuary, to see your power and glory. Because your favor is better than life, my lips will praise you. So I will bless you as long as I live, I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul is satisfied as with fat and fatness, and my mouth offers praises with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I sing for joy. My soul clings to you, your right hand takes hold of me. But those who seek my life to destroy it, will go into the depths of the earth. They will be turned over to the power of the sword, they will be a prey for foxes. But the king will rejoice in God, everyone who swears by him will boast, for the mouths of those who speak lies will be stopped. Hear my voice, God, in my complaint, protect my life from dread of the enemy. Hide me from the secret discussion of evildoers, from the restlessness of the workers of injustice, who have sharpened their tongues like a sword. They aimed bitter speech as their arrows. To shoot from concealment at the innocent, suddenly they shoot at him, and do not fear. They make firm for themselves an evil purpose, they talk of setting snares secretly, they say, who can see them? They devise injustices, saying, we are ready with a well-conceived plot, for the inward thought and the heart of a person are deep. But God will shoot an arrow at them, suddenly they will be wounded. So they will make him stumble, their own tongue is against them, all who see them will shake their heads. Then all people will fear, and they will declare the work of God, and will consider what he has done. The righteous person will be glad in the Lord and take refuge in him, and all the upright in heart will boast. There will be silence before you, and praise in Zion, God, and the vow will be fulfilled for you. You who hear prayer, to you all mankind comes. Wrongdoings prevail against me, as for our offenses, you forgive them. For blessed is the one you choose and allow to approach you, he will dwell in your courtyards. We will be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your holy temple. By awesome deeds you answer us in righteousness, God of our salvation, you who are the trust of all the ends of the earth and the farthest sea. 
who establishes the mountains by his strength, who is encircled with might, who stills the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. They who dwell at the ends of the earth stand in awe of your signs, you make the sunrise and the sunset shout for joy. You visit the earth and cause it to overflow, you greatly enrich it, the stream of God is full of water, you prepare their grain, for so you prepare the earth. You water its furrows abundantly, you settle its ridges, you soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You have crowned the year with your goodness, and your paths drip with fatness. The pastures of the wilderness drip, and the hills encircle themselves with rejoicing. The meadows are clothed with flocks and the valleys are covered with grain, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing the glory of His name, make His praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your works. Because of the greatness of your power your enemies will pretend to obey you. All the earth will worship you, and will sing praises to you, they will sing praises to your name. Selah. Come and see the works of God, who is awesome in his deeds toward the sons of mankind. He turned the sea into dry land, they passed through the river on foot, let's rejoice there, in him. He rules by his might forever, his eyes keep watch on the nations, the rebellious shall not exalt themselves. Selah. Bless our God, you peoples, and sound his praise abroad. Who keeps us in life, and does not allow our feet to slip. For you have put us to the test, God, you have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net, you laid an oppressive burden upon us. You made men ride over our heads, we went through fire and through water. Yet you brought us out into a place of abundance. I shall come into your house with burnt offerings, I shall pay you my vows. Which my lips uttered and my mouth spoke when I was in distress. I shall offer to you burnt offerings of fat animals, with the smoke of rams, I shall make an offering of bulls with male goats. Selah. Come and hear, all who fear God, and I will tell of what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was exalted with my tongue. If I regard wickedness in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But God has heard, he has given attention to the sound of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer nor his favor from me. God be gracious to us and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us, Selah. That your way may be known on the earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, God, may all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you will judge the peoples with fairness and guide the nations on the earth. Selah. May the peoples praise you, God, may all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its produce, God, our God, blesses us. God blesses us, so that all the ends of the earth may fear him. May God arise, may his enemies be scattered, and may those who hate him flee from his presence. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away as wax melts before a fire, so the wicked will perish before God. But the righteous will be joyful, they will rejoice before God, yes, they will rejoice with gladness. Sing to God, sing praises to His name, exalt Him who rides through the deserts, whose name is the Lord, and be jubilant before Him. A father of the fatherless and a judge for the widows, is God in His holy dwelling. God makes a home for the lonely, He leads out the prisoners into prosperity, only the rebellious live in parched lands. God, when you went forth before your people, 
when you marched through the desert, Selah. The earth quaked, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God, Sinai itself quaked at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You made plentiful rain fall, God, you confirmed your inheritance when it was parched. Your creatures settled in it, in your kindness you provided for the poor, God. The Lord gives the command, the women who proclaim good news are a great army. Kings of armies flee, they flee, and she who remains at home will divide the spoils. When you lie down among the sheepfolds, you are like the wings of a dove covered with silver, and its pinions with glistening gold. When the Almighty scattered the kings there, it was snowing in Zalman. The mountain of Bashan is a mountain of God, the mountain of Bashan is a mountain of many peaks. Why do you look with envy, you mountains of many peaks, at the mountain God has desired as his dwelling? Indeed, the Lord will dwell there forever. The chariots of God are myriads, thousands upon thousands, the Lord is among them as at Sinai, in holiness. You have ascended on high, you have led captive your captives, you have received gifts among people, even among the rebellious as well, that the Lord God may dwell there. Blessed be the Lord, who daily bears our burden, the God who is our salvation. Selah God is to us a God of salvation, and to God the Lord belong ways of escape from death. God certainly will shatter the heads of his enemies, the hairy head of one who goes about in his guilt. The Lord said, I will bring them back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea. So that your foot may shatter them in blood, and the tongue of your dogs may have its portion from your enemies. They have seen your procession, God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. The singers went on, the musicians after them, in the midst of the young women beating tambourines. Bless God in the congregations, even the Lord, you who are of the fountain of Israel. Benjamin, the youngest, is there, ruling them, the leaders of Judah in their company, the leaders of Zebulun, the leaders of Naphtali. Your God has commanded your strength, show yourself strong, God, you who acted in our behalf. Because of your temple at Jerusalem kings will bring gifts to you. Rebuke the animals in the reeds, the herd of bulls with the calves of the peoples, trampling the pieces of silver, he has scattered the peoples who delight in war. Messengers will come from Egypt, Cush will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth, sing praises to the Lord, Selah. To him who rides upon the highest heavens, which are from ancient times, behold, he speaks with his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to God, his majesty is over Israel, and his strength is in the skies. God, you are awesome from your sanctuary. The God of Israel himself gives strength and power to the people. Blessed be God. Save me, God, for the waters have threatened my life. I have sunk in deep mud, and there is no foothold, I have come into deep waters, and a flood overflows me. I am weary with my crying, my throat is parched, my eyes fail while I wait for my God. Those who hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of my head, those who would destroy me are powerful, those who oppose me with lies, what I did not steal, I then have to restore. God, you know my foolishness, and my guilt is not hidden from you. May those who wait for you not be ashamed because of me, Lord God of armies, may those who seek you not be dishonored because of me, God of Israel. Because for your sake I have endured disgrace, dishonor has covered my face. I have become estranged from my brothers, and a stranger to my mother's sons. For zeal for your house has consumed me, 
and the taunts of those who taunt you have fallen on me. When I wept in my soul with fasting, it became my disgrace. When I made sackcloth my clothing, I became a proverb to them. Those who sit in the gate talk about me, and songs of mockery by those habitually drunk are about me. But as for me, my prayer is to you, Lord, at an acceptable time, God, in the greatness of your mercy, answer me with your saving truth. Rescue me from the mud and do not let me sink, may I be rescued from those who hate me, and from the depths of water. May the flood of water not overflow me nor the deep swallow me up, nor the pit close its mouth on me. Answer me, Lord, for your mercy is good, according to the greatness of your compassion, turn to me. And do not hide your face from your servant, for I am in distress, answer me quickly. Come near to my soul and redeem it, ransom me because of my enemies. 19 You know my disgrace, my shame, and my dishonor, all my enemies are known to you. Disgrace has broken my heart, and I am so sick. And I waited for sympathy, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They also gave me a bitter herb in my food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. May their table before them become a snare, and when they are at peace, may it become a trap. May their eyes grow dim so that they cannot see, and make their hips shake continually. Pour out your indignation on them, and may your burning anger overtake them. May their camp be desolated, may there be none living in their tents. For they have persecuted him whom you yourself struck, and they tell of the pain of those whom you have wounded. Add guilt to their guilt, and may they not come into your righteousness. May they be wiped out of the book of life, and may they not be recorded with the righteous. But I am afflicted and in pain, may your salvation, God, set me safely on high. I will praise the name of God with song, and exalt him with thanksgiving. And it will please the Lord better than an ox or bull with horns and hoofs. The humble have seen it and are glad, you who seek God, let your heart revive. For the Lord hears the needy, and does not despise those of his who are prisoners. Heaven and earth shall praise him, the seas and everything that moves in them. For God will save Zion and build the cities of Judah, so that they may live there and possess it. The descendants of his servants will inherit it, and those who love his name will live in it. God, hurry to save me, Lord, hurry to help me. May those who seek my life be put to shame and humiliated, may those who delight in my harm be turned back and dishonored. May those who say, Aha, Aha, be turned back because of their shame. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you, and may those who love your salvation say continually, May God be exalted. But I am afflicted and needy, hurry to me, God. You are my help and my Savior, Lord, do not delay. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge, let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness rescue me and save me, extend your ear to me and help me. Be to me a rock of dwelling to which I may continually come, you have given the commandment to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Save me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the wrongdoer and the ruthless. For you are my hope, Lord God, you are my confidence from my youth. I have leaned on you since my birth, you are he who took me from my mother's womb, my praise is continually of you. I have become a marvel to many, for you are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long. Do not cast me away at the time of my old age, do not abandon me when my strength fails. For my enemies have spoken against me, and those who watch for my life have consulted together. Saying, 
God has abandoned him, pursue and seize him, for there is no one to save him. God, do not be far from me, my God, hurry to my aid. May those who are enemies of my soul be put to shame and consumed, may they be covered with disgrace and dishonor, who seek to injure me. But as for me, I will wait continually, and will praise you yet more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and of your salvation all day long, for I do not know the art of writing. I will come with the mighty deeds of the Lord God, I will make mention of your righteousness, yours alone. God, you have taught me from my youth, and I still declare your wondrous deeds. And even when I am old and gray, God, do not abandon me, until I declare your strength to this generation, your power to all who are to come. For your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens, you who have done great things, God, who is like you. You who have shown me many troubles and distresses will revive me again, and will bring me up again from the depths of the earth. May you increase my greatness and turn to comfort me. I will also praise you with a harp, and your truth, my God, I will sing praises to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, and my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all day long, for they are put to shame, for they are humiliated who seek my harm. Give the king your judgments, God, and your righteousness to the king's son. May he judge your people with righteousness and your afflicted with justice. May the mountains bring peace to the people, and the hills, in righteousness. May he vindicate the afflicted of the people, save the children of the needy, and crush the oppressor. May they fear you while the sun shines, and as long as the moon shines, throughout all generations. May he come down like rain upon the mown grass, like showers that water the earth. May the righteous flourish in his days, as well as an abundance of peace, until the moon is no more. May he also rule from sea to sea, and from the Euphrates river to the ends of the earth. May the nomads of the desert bow before him, and his enemies lick the dust. May the kings of Tarshish and of the islands bring gifts, may the kings of Sheba and Saba offer tributes. And may all kings bow down before him, all nations serve him. For he will save the needy when he cries for help, the afflicted also, and him who has no helper. He will have compassion on the poor and needy, and he will save the lives of the needy. He will rescue their life from oppression and violence, and their blood will be precious in his sight. So may he live, and may the gold of Sheba be given to him, and they are to pray for him continually, they are to bless him all day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth on top of the mountains, its fruit will wave like the cedars of Lebanon, and may those from the city flourish like the vegetation of the earth. May his name endure forever, may his name produce descendants as long as the sun shines, and may people wish blessings on themselves by him, may all nations call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who alone works wonders. And blessed be his glorious name forever, and may the whole earth be filled with his glory. Amen and Amen. The prayers of David the son of Jesse are ended. God certainly is good to Israel, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet came close to stumbling, my steps had almost slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant as I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no pains in their death, and their belly is fat. They are not in trouble like other people, nor are they tormented together with the rest of mankind. Therefore arrogance is their necklace, the garment of violence covers them. Their eye bulges from fatness, the imaginations of their heart overflow. 
They mock and wickedly speak of oppression, they speak from on high. They have set their mouth against the heavens, and their tongue parades through the earth. Therefore his people return here, and abundant waters are drunk by them. They say, How does God know? And is there knowledge with the Most High? Behold, these are the wicked, and always at ease, they have increased in wealth. Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure and washed my hands in innocence. For I have been stricken all day long, and punished every morning. If I had said, I will speak this way, behold, would have betrayed the generation of your children. When I thought of understanding this, it was troublesome in my sight. Until I entered the sanctuary of God, then I perceived their end. You indeed put them on slippery ground, you dropped them into ruin. How they are destroyed in a moment. They are utterly swept away by sudden terrors. Like a dream when one awakes, Lord, when stirred, you will despise their image. When my heart was embittered and I was pierced within. Then I was stupid and ignorant, I was like an animal before you. Nevertheless I am continually with you, you have taken hold of my right hand. You will guide me with your plan, and afterward receive me to glory. Whom do I have in heaven but you? And with you, I desire nothing on earth. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For, behold, those who are far from you will perish, you have destroyed all those who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, the nearness of God is good for me, I have made the Lord God my refuge, so that I may tell of all your works. God, why have you rejected us forever? Why does your anger smoke against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, which you purchased of old, which you have redeemed to be the tribe of your inheritance, and this Mount Zion, where you have dwelt. Step toward the irreparable ruins, the enemy has damaged everything in the sanctuary. Your adversaries have roared in the midst of your meeting place, they have set up their own signs as signs. It seems like one bringing up his axe into a forest of trees. And now they break down all its carved work with axe and hammers. They have burned your sanctuary to the ground, they have defiled the dwelling place of your name. They said in their heart, let's completely subdue them. They have burned all the meeting places of God in the land. We do not see our signs, there is no longer any prophet, nor is there anyone among us who knows how long. How long, God, will the enemy taunt you? Shall the enemy treat your name disrespectfully forever? Why do you withdraw your hand, even your right hand? Extend it from your chest and destroy them. Yet God is my King from long ago, who performs acts of salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength, you broke the heads of the sea monsters in the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan, you gave him as food for the creatures of the wilderness. You broke open springs and torrents, you dried up ever-flowing streams. Yours is the day, yours also is the night, you have prepared the light and the sun. You have established all the boundaries of the earth, you have created summer and winter. Remember this, Lord, that the enemy has taunted you, and a foolish people has treated your name disrespectfully. 19 Do not give the soul of your turtle dove to the wild animal, do not forget the life of your afflicted forever. Consider the covenant, for the dark places of the land are full of the places of violence. May the oppressed person not return dishonored, may the afflicted and the needy praise your name. Arise, God, and plead your own cause, remember how the foolish person taunts you all day long. Do not forget the voice of your adversaries, 
the uproar of those who rise against you, which ascends continually. We give thanks to you, God, we give thanks, for your name is near, people declare your wondrous works. When I select an appointed time, it is I who judge fairly. The earth and all who inhabit it are unsteady, it is I who have firmly set its pillars. Selah. I said to the boastful, do not boast, and to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high, do not speak with insolent pride. For not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the desert comes exaltation. But God is the judge, he puts down one and exalts another. For a cup is in the hand of the Lord, and the wine foams, it is well mixed, and he pours out of this, certainly all the wicked of the earth must drain and drink its dregs. But as for me, I will declare it forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. And he will cut off all the horns of the wicked, but the horns of the righteous will be lifted up. God is known in Judah, his name is great in Israel. His tabernacle is in Salem, his dwelling place also is in Zion. There he broke the flaming arrows, the shield, the sword, and the weapons of war. Selah. You are resplendent, more majestic than the mountains of prey. The stout-hearted were plundered, they sank into sleep, and none of the warriors could use his hands. At your rebuke, God of Jacob, both rider and horse were cast into a dead sleep. You, you indeed are to be feared, and who may stand in your presence, once you are angry. You caused judgment to be heard from heaven, the earth feared and was still. When God arose to judgment, to save all the humble of the earth. Selah. For the wrath of mankind shall praise you, you will encircle yourself with a remnant of wrath. Make vows to the Lord your God and fulfill them, all who are around him are to bring gifts to him who is to be feared. He will cut off the spirit of princes, he is feared by the kings of the earth. My voice rises to God, and I will cry aloud, my voice rises to God, and he will listen to me. In the day of my trouble I sought the Lord, in the night my hand was stretched out and did not grow weary, my soul refused to be comforted. When I remember God, then I am restless, when I sigh, then my spirit feels weak. Selah. You have held my eyelids open, I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of long ago. I will remember my song in the night, I will meditate with my heart, and my spirit ponders. Will the Lord reject forever? And will He never be favorable again? Has his favor ceased forever? Has his promise come to an end forever? Has God forgotten to be gracious, or has he in anger withdrawn his compassion? Selah. Then I said, It is my grief, that the right hand of the Most High has changed. I shall remember the deeds of the Lord, I will certainly remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your work, and on your deeds with thanksgiving. Your way, God, is holy, what God is great like our God. You are the God who works wonders, you have made known your strength among the peoples. By your power you have redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Selah. The waters saw you, God, the waters saw you, they were in anguish, the ocean depths also trembled. The clouds poured out water, the skies sounded out, your arrows flashed here and there. The sound of your thunder was in the whirlwind, the lightning lit up the world, the earth trembled and shook. Your way was in the sea and your paths in the mighty waters, and your footprints were not known. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Listen, my people, to my instruction, 
Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable, I will tell riddles of old. Which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will not conceal them from their children, but we will tell the generation to come the praises of the Lord, and His power and His wondrous works that He has done. For He established a testimony in Jacob, and appointed a law in Israel, which He commanded our fathers that they were to teach them to their children. So that the generation to come would know, the children yet to be born, that they would arise and tell them to their children. So that they would put their confidence in God and not forget the works of God, but comply with His commandments. And not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not prepare its heart and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The sons of Ephraim were archers equipped with bows, yet they turned back on the day of battle. They did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in His law. They forgot His deeds and His miracles that He had shown them. He performed wonders before their fathers in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and He made the waters stand up like a heap. Then He led them with the cloud by day and all the night with a light of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them plenty to drink like the ocean depths. He brought forth streams from the rock and made waters run down like rivers. Yet they still continued to sin against Him, to rebel against the Most High in the desert. And in their heart they put God to the test by asking for food that suited their taste. Then they spoke against God, they said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Behold, He struck the rock so that waters gushed out, and streams were overflowing, can He also provide bread? Will He prepare meat for His people? Therefore the Lord heard and was full of wrath, and a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also mounted against Israel. Because they did not believe in God and did not trust in His salvation. Yet He commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna upon them to eat, and gave them food from heaven. Man ate the bread of angels, he sent them food in abundance. He made the east wind blow in the sky and by his power he directed the south wind. When he rained meat upon them like the dust, even winged fowl like the sand of the seas. He let them fall in the midst of their camp, all around their dwellings. So they ate and were well filled, and he satisfied their longing. Yet before they had abandoned their longing, while their food was in their mouths. The anger of God rose against them and killed some of their strongest ones, and subdued the choice men of Israel. In spite of all this they still sinned and did not believe in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end in futility, and their years to an end in sudden terror. When he killed them, then they sought him, and they returned and searched diligently for God. And they remembered that God was their rock, and the Most High God their Redeemer. 36 But they flattered him with their mouth and lied to him with their tongue. 37 For their heart was not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful with his covenant. But he, being compassionate, forgave their wrongdoing and did not destroy them, and often he restrained his anger and did not stir up all his wrath. So he remembered that they were only flesh, a wind that passes and does not return. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Again and again they tempted God, and pained the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power, the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. When he performed his signs in Egypt and his marvels in the field of Zoan, and turned their rivers to blood, and their streams, so that they could not drink. He sent swarms of flies among them that devoured them, 
and frogs that destroyed them. He also gave their crops to the grasshopper and the product of their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hailstones and their sycamore trees with frost. He also turned their cattle over to the hailstones, and their herds to bolts of lightning. He sent his burning anger upon them, fury and indignation and trouble, a band of destroying angels. He leveled a path for his anger, he did not spare their souls from death, but turned their lives over to the plague. And struck all the firstborn in Egypt, the first and best of their vigor in the tents of Ham. But he led his own people out like sheep, and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them safely, so that they did not fear, but the sea engulfed their enemies. So he brought them to his holy land, to this hill country which his right hand had gained. He also drove out the nations from them and apportioned them as an inheritance by measurement, and had the tribes of Israel dwell in their tents. Yet they tempted and rebelled against the Most High God and did not keep his testimonies. But turned back and acted treacherously like their fathers, they turned aside like a treacherous bow. For they provoked him with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their carved images. When God heard them, he was filled with wrath and he utterly rejected Israel. So that he abandoned the dwelling place at Shiloh, the tent which he had pitched among people. And he gave up his strength to captivity and his glory into the hand of the enemy. He also turned his people over to the sword, and was filled with wrath at his inheritance. Fire devoured his young men, and his virgins had no wedding songs. His priests fell by the sword, and his widows could not weep. Then the Lord awoke as if from sleep, like a warrior overcome by wine. He drove his adversaries backward, he put on them an everlasting disgrace. He also rejected the tent of Joseph, and did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. And he built his sanctuary like the heights, like the earth which he has established forever. He also chose his servant David and took him from the sheepfolds. From the care of the ewes with nursing lambs he brought him to shepherd Jacob his people, and Israel his inheritance. So he shepherded them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them with his skillful hands. God, the nations have invaded your inheritance, they have defiled your holy temple, they have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the dead bodies of your servants to the birds of the sky as food, the flesh of your godly ones to the animals of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem and there was no one to bury them. We have become a disgrace before our neighbors, an object of derision and ridicule to those around us. How long, Lord? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the nations which do not know you, and upon the kingdoms which do not call upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his settlement. Do not hold us responsible for the guilty deeds of our forefathers, let your compassion come quickly to meet us, for we have become very low. Help us, God of our salvation, for the glory of your name, and save us and forgive our sins for the sake of your name. Why should the nations say, Where is their God? Let vengeance for the blood of your servants which has been shed be known among the nations in our sight. Let the groaning of the prisoner come before you, according to the greatness of your power, let those who are doomed to die remain. And return to our neighbors seven times as much into their lap their taunts with which they have taunted you, Lord. So we your people and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks to you forever, to all generations we will tell of your praise. Listen, shepherd of Israel, who leads Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned above the cherubim, shine forth. 
Before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, awaken your power, and come to save us. God, restore us and make your face shine upon us, and we will be saved. Lord God of armies, how long will you be angry with the prayer of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears, and you have made them drink tears in large measure. You make us an object of contention to our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. God of armies, restore us and make your face shine upon us, and we will be saved. You removed a vine from Egypt, you drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground before it, and it took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God with its branches. It was sending out its branches to the sea and its shoots to the Euphrates River. Why have you broken down its hedges, so that all who pass that way pick its fruit? A boar from the forest eats it away, and whatever moves in the field feeds on it. God of armies, do turn back, look down from heaven and see, and take care of this vine. The shoot which your right hand has planted, and of the son whom you have strengthened for yourself. It is burned with fire, it is cut down, they perish from the rebuke of your face. Let your hand be upon the man of your right hand, upon the son of man whom you made strong for yourself. Then we will not turn back from you, revive us, and we will call upon your name. Lord God of armies, restore us, make your face shine upon us, and we will be saved. Sing for joy to God our strength, shout joyfully to the God of Jacob. Raise a song, strike the tambourine, the sweet-sounding lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon, on our feast day. For it is a statute for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. He established it as a testimony in Joseph when he went throughout the land of Egypt. I heard a language I did not know. I relieved his shoulder of the burden, his hands were freed from the basket. You called in trouble and I rescued you, I answered you in the hiding place of thunder, I put you to the test at the waters of Meribah. Selah. Hear, my people, and I will admonish you, Israel, if you would listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you, nor shall you worship a foreign God. I, the Lord, am your God, who brought you up from the land of Egypt, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice, and Israel did not obey me. So I gave them over to the stubbornness of their heart, to walk by their own plans. Oh that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would quickly subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. Fifteen those who hate the Lord would pretend to obey him, and their time of punishment would be forever. But I would feed you with the finest of the wheat, and with honey from the rock I would satisfy you. God takes his position in his assembly, he judges in the midst of the gods. 2. How long will you judge unjustly and show partiality to the wicked? Selah 3. Vindicate the weak and fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and destitute. For rescue the weak and needy, save them from the hand of the wicked. They do not know nor do they understand, they walk around in darkness, all the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, You are gods, and all of you are sons of the Most High. Nevertheless you will die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, God, judge the earth. For you possess all the nations. God, do not remain quiet, do not be silent and, God, do not be still. For behold, your enemies make an uproar, and those who hate you have exalted themselves. They make shrewd plans against your people, and conspire together against your treasured ones. 
They have said, Come, and let's wipe them out as a nation, so that the name of Israel will no longer be remembered. For they have conspired together with one mind, they make a covenant against you. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites. Jebel, Ammon, and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre. Assyria also has joined them, they have become a help to the children of Lot. Selah. Deal with them as with Midian, as with Sisera and Jabin at the river of Kishon. Who were destroyed at Endor, who became like dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, and all their leaders like Zeba and Zalmunna. Who said, Let's possess for ourselves the pastures of God. My God, make them like the whirling dust, like chaff before the wind. Like fire that burns the forest, and like a flame that sets the mountains on fire. So pursue them with your heavy gale, and terrify them with your storm. Fill their faces with dishonor, so that they will seek your name, Lord. May they be ashamed and dismayed forever, and may they be humiliated and perish. So that they will know that you alone, whose name is the Lord, are the Most High over all the earth. How lovely are your dwelling places, Lord of armies! My soul longed and even yearned for the courtyards of the Lord, my heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. The bird also has found a house, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may put her young, your altars, Lord of armies, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Selah. Blessed is the person whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the roads to Zion. Passing through the valley of Baca they make it a spring, the early rain also covers it with blessings. They go from strength to strength, every one of them appears before God in Zion. Lord God of armies, hear my prayer, listen, God of Jacob. Selah. See our shield, God, and look at the face of your anointed. For a day in your courtyards is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather stand at the threshold of the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield, the Lord gives grace and glory, He withholds no good thing from those who walk with integrity. Lord of armies, blessed is the person who trusts in you. Lord, you showed favor to your land, you restored the fortunes of Jacob. To you forgave the guilt of your people, you covered all their sin. Selah. You withdrew all your fury, you turned away from your burning anger. Restore us, God of our salvation, and cause your indignation toward us to cease. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger to all generations? Will you not revive us again, so that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God the Lord will say, for he will speak peace to his people, to his godly ones, and may they not turn back to foolishness. Certainly his salvation is near to those who fear him, that glory may dwell in our land. Graciousness and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth sprouts from the earth, and righteousness looks down from heaven. Twelve indeed, the Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its produce. Thirteen righteousness will go before him and will make his footsteps into a way. Incline your ear, Lord, and answer me, for I am afflicted and needy. Protect my soul, for I am godly, you my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Be gracious to me, Lord, for I call upon you all day long. Make the soul of your servant joyful, for to you, Lord, I lift up my soul. 
For you, Lord, are good, and ready to forgive, and abundant in mercy to all who call upon you. Listen, Lord, to my prayer, and give your attention to the sound of my pleading. On the day of my trouble I will call upon you, for you will answer me. There is no one like you among the gods, Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All nations whom you have made will come and worship before you, Lord, and they will glorify your name. For you are great, and you do wondrous deeds, you alone are God. Teach me your way, Lord, I will walk in your truth, unite my heart to fear your name. I will give thanks to you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. For your graciousness toward me is great, and you have saved my soul from the depths of Sheol. God, arrogant men have risen up against me, and a gang of violent men have sought my life, and they have not set you before them. But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger and abundant in mercy and truth. Turn to me, and be gracious to me, grant your strength to your servant, and save the son of your maidservant. Show me a sign of good, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, Lord, have helped me and comforted me. His foundation is in the holy mountains. The Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the other dwelling places of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of you, city of God. Selah. I shall mention Rahab and Babylon among those who know me, behold, Philistia and Tyre with Cush, this one was born there. But of Zion it will be said, this one and that one were born in her, and the Most High himself will establish her. The Lord will count when he registers the peoples, this one was born there. Selah. Then those who sing as well as those who play the flutes will say, All my springs of joy are in you. Lord, the God of my salvation, I have cried out by day and in the night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my cry. For my soul has had enough troubles, and my life has approached Sheol. I am counted among those who go down to the pit, I have become like a man without strength. Abandoned among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you no longer remember, and they are cut off from your hand. You have put me in the lowest pit, in dark places, in the depths. Your wrath has rested upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. Selah. You have removed my acquaintances far from me, you have made me an object of loathing to them, I am shut up and cannot go out. My eye grows dim from misery, I have called upon you every day, Lord, I have spread out my hands to you. Will you perform wonders for the dead? Or will the departed spirits rise and praise you? Selah. Will your graciousness be declared in the grave, your faithfulness in Abaddon? Will your wonders be made known in the darkness? And your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But I, Lord, have cried out to you for help, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. Lord, why do you reject my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? I was miserable and about to die from my youth on. I suffer your terrors, I grow weary. Your burning anger has passed over me, your terrors have destroyed me. They have surrounded me like water all day long, they have encircled me altogether. You have removed lover and friend far from me, my acquaintances are in a hiding place. I will sing of the graciousness of the Lord forever. To all generations I will make your faithfulness known with my mouth. For I have said, Graciousness will be built up forever, in the heavens you will establish your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen, I have sworn to my servant David. 
I will establish your descendants forever and build up your throne to all generations. Selah. The heavens will praise your wonders, Lord, your faithfulness also in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies is comparable to the Lord? Who among the sons of the mighty is like the Lord? A God greatly feared in the council of the holy ones, and awesome above all those who are around him. Lord God of armies, who is like you, mighty Lord? Your faithfulness also surrounds you. You rule the surging of the sea, when its waves rise, you calm them. You yourself crushed Rahab like one who is slain, you scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, the earth also is yours, the world and all it contains, you have established them. The north and the south, you have created them, Tabor and Hermon shout for joy at your name. You have a strong arm, your hand is mighty, your right hand is exalted. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne, mercy and truth go before you. Blessed are the people who know the joyful sound. Lord, they walk in the light of your face. In your name they rejoice all the day, and by your righteousness they are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For our shield belongs to the Lord, and our King to the Holy One of Israel. Once you spoke in vision to your godly ones, and said, I have given help to one who is mighty, I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant David, with my holy oil I have anointed him. With whom my hand will be established, my arm also will strengthen him. The enemy will not deceive him, nor will the son of wickedness afflict him. But I will crush his adversaries before him, and strike those who hate him. My faithfulness and my favor will be with him, and in my name his horn will be exalted. I will also place his hand on the sea, and his right hand on the rivers. He will call to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will also make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. I will maintain my favor for him forever, and my covenant shall be confirmed to him. So I will establish his descendants forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his sons abandon my law and do not walk in my judgments. If they violate my statutes and do not keep my commandments. Then I will punish their wrongdoing with the rod, and their guilt with afflictions. But I will not withhold my favor from him, nor deal falsely in my faithfulness. I will not violate my covenant, nor will I alter the utterance of my lips. Once I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His descendants shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. It shall be established forever like the moon, and a witness in the sky is faithful. Selah. But you have rejected and refused, you have been full of wrath against your anointed. You have repudiated the covenant of your servant, you have profaned his crown in the dust. You have broken down all his walls, you have brought his strongholds to ruin. All who pass along the way plunder him, he has become a disgrace to his neighbors. You have exalted the right hand of his adversaries, you have made all his enemies rejoice. You also turn back the edge of his sword, and have not made him stand in battle. You have put an end to his splendor and cast his throne to the ground. You have shortened the days of his youth, you have covered him with shame. Selah. How long, Lord? Will you hide yourself forever? Will your wrath burn like fire? Remember what my lifespan is, for what futility you have created all the sons of mankind. What man can live and not see death? 
Can he save his soul from the power of Sheol? Selah. Where are your former acts of favor, Lord, which you swore to David in your faithfulness? Remember, Lord, the taunt against your servants, how I carry in my heart the taunts of all the many peoples. With which your enemies have taunted, Lord, with which they have taunted the footsteps of your anointed. Blessed be the Lord forever. Amen and Amen. Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were born or you gave birth to the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn mortals back into dust and say, Return, you sons of mankind. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it passes by, or like a watch in the night. You have swept them away like a flood, they fall asleep, in the morning they are like grass that sprouts anew. In the morning it flourishes and sprouts anew, toward evening it wilts and withers away. For we have been consumed by your anger, and we have been terrified by your wrath. You have placed our guilty deeds before you, our hidden sins in the light of your presence. For all our days have dwindled away in your fury, we have finished our years like a sigh. As for the days of our life, they contain seventy years, or if due to strength, eighty years, yet their pride is only trouble and tragedy, for it quickly passes, and we disappear. Who understands the power of your anger and your fury, according to the fear that is to you? So teach us to number our days, that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. Do return, Lord, how long will it be? And be sorry for your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your graciousness, that we may sing for joy and rejoice all our days. Make us glad according to the days you have afflicted us, and the years we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants and your majesty to their children. May the kindness of the Lord our One who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will lodge in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, My refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For it is he who rescues you from the net of the trapper and from the deadly plague. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you may take refuge, his faithfulness is a shield and wall. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day. Of the plague that stalks in darkness, or of the destruction that devastates at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the retaliation against the wicked. For you have made the Lord, my refuge, the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil will happen to you, nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels orders concerning you, to protect you in all your ways. On their hands they will lift you up, so that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will walk upon the lion and cobra, you will trample the young lion and the serpent. Because he has loved me, I will save him, I will set him securely on high, because he has known my name. He will call upon me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. I will satisfy him with a long life, and show him my salvation. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, Most High. To declare your goodness in the morning and your faithfulness by night. With the ten-stringed lute and with the harp, with resounding music on the lyre. For you, Lord, have made me joyful by what you have done, I will sing for joy over the works of your hands. How great are your works, Lord! Your thoughts are very deep. A stupid person has no knowledge, nor does a foolish person understand this. 
When the wicked sprouted up like grass and all who did injustice flourished, it was only that they might be destroyed forevermore. But you, Lord, are on high forever. For, behold, your enemies, Lord, for, behold, your enemies will perish, all who do injustice will be scattered. But you have exalted my horn like that of the wild ox, I have been anointed with fresh oil. And my eye has looked at my enemies, my ears hear of the evildoers who rise up against me. The righteous person will flourish like the palm tree, he will grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courtyards of our God. They will still yield fruit in advanced age, they will be full of sap and very green. To declare that the Lord is just, he is my rock, and there is no malice in him. The Lord reigns, he is clothed with majesty, the Lord has clothed and encircled himself with strength. Indeed, the world is firmly established, it will not be moved. Your throne is established from of old, you are from eternity. The floods have lifted up, Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice, the floods lift up their pounding waves. More than the sounds of many waters, than the mighty breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Your testimonies are fully confirmed, holiness is pleasing to your house, Lord, forevermore. Lord, God of vengeance, God of vengeance, shine forth. Rise up, judge of the earth, pay back retribution to the proud. How long, Lord, shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? They pour out words, they speak arrogantly, all who do injustice boast. They crush your people, Lord, and afflict your inheritance. They kill the widow and the stranger and murder the orphans. They have said, the Lord does not see, nor does the God of Jacob perceive. Pay attention, you stupid ones among the people, and when will you understand, foolish ones? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? Or he who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, will he not rebuke, he who teaches mankind knowledge? The Lord knows human thoughts, that they are mere breath. Blessed is the man whom you discipline, Lord, and whom you teach from your law. So that you may grant him relief from the days of adversity, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he abandon his inheritance. For judgment will again be righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who will stand up for me against evildoers? Who will take his stand for me against those who do injustice? If the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have dwelt in the land of silence. If I should say, my foot has slipped, your faithfulness, Lord, will support me. When my anxious thoughts multiply within me, your comfort delights my soul. Can a throne of destruction be allied with you, one which devises mischief by decree? They band themselves together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has been my refuge, and my God the rock of my refuge. He has brought back their injustice upon them, and he will destroy them in their evil, the Lord our God will destroy them. Come, let's sing for joy to the Lord. Let's shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let's come before his presence with a song of thanksgiving, let's shout joyfully to him in songs with instruments. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In whose hand are the depths of the earth, the peaks of the mountains are also his. The sea is his, for it was he who made it, and his hands formed the dry land. Come, let's worship and bow down, let's kneel before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture and the sheep of His hand. Today, 
if you will hear his voice. Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day of Massa in the wilderness. When your fathers put me to the test, they tested me, though they had seen my work. For forty years I was disgusted with that generation, and said they are a people who err in their heart, and they do not know my ways. Therefore I swore in my anger, they certainly shall not enter my rest. Sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord, all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name, proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Three tell of his glory among the nations, his wonderful deeds among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, he is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name, bring an offering and come into his courtyards. Worship the Lord in holy attire, tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns, indeed, the world is firmly established, it will not be moved, he will judge the peoples fairly. May the heavens be joyful, and may the earth rejoice, may the sea roar, and all it contains. May the field be jubilant, and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the forest will sing for joy. Before the Lord, for He is coming, for He is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world in righteousness, and the peoples in His faithfulness. The Lord reigns, may the earth rejoice, may the many islands be joyful. Two clouds and thick darkness surround him, righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his enemies all around. His lightning lit up the world, the earth saw it and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples have seen his glory. May all those be ashamed who serve carved images, who boast in idols, worship him, all you gods. Zion heard this and was joyful, and the daughters of Judah have rejoiced because of your judgments, Lord. For you are the Lord Most High over all the earth, you are exalted far above all gods. Hate evil, you who love the Lord, who watches over the souls of his godly ones, he saves them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown like seed for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Be joyful in the Lord, you righteous ones, and praise the mention of his holy name. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has done wonderful things, his right hand and his holy arm have gained the victory for him. The Lord has made his salvation known, he has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his graciousness and his faithfulness to the house of Israel, all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth, be cheerful and sing for joy and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the sound of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn shout joyfully before the King, the Lord. May the sea roar and all it contains, the world and those who dwell in it. May the rivers clap their hands, may the mountains sing together for joy. Before the Lord, for He is coming to judge the earth, He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with fairness. The Lord reigns, the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned above the cherubim, the earth quakes. The Lord is great in Zion, and He is exalted above all the peoples. May they praise Your great and awesome name, Holy is He. 
The strength of the king loves justice, you have established order, you have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among his priests, and Samuel was among those who called on his name, they called upon the Lord and he answered them. He spoke to them in the pillar of cloud, they kept his testimonies and the statute that he gave them. Lord our God, you answered them, you were a forgiving God to them, and yet an avenger of their evil deeds. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with jubilation, come before him with rejoicing. Know that the Lord himself is God, it is he who has made us, and not we ourselves, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courtyards with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness is to all generations. I will sing of mercy and justice, to you, Lord, I will sing praises. I will carefully attend to the blameless way. When will you come to me? I will walk within my house in the integrity of my heart. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes, I hate the work of those who fall away, it shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall leave me, I will know no evil. Whoever secretly slanders his neighbor, him I will destroy, I will not endure one who has a haughty look and an arrogant heart. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me, one who walks in a blameless way is one who will serve me. One who practices deceit shall not dwell within my house, one who speaks lies shall not maintain his position before me. Every morning I will destroy all the wicked of the land, so as to eliminate from the city of the Lord all those who do injustice. Hear my prayer, Lord. And let my cry for help come to you. Do not hide your face from me on the day of my distress, incline your ear to me, on the day when I call answer me quickly. For my days have ended in smoke, and my bones have been scorched like a hearth. My heart has been struck like grass and has withered, indeed, I forget to eat my bread. Because of the loudness of my groaning my bones cling to my flesh. I resemble a pelican of the wilderness, I have become like an owl of the ruins. I lie awake, I have become like a solitary bird on a housetop. My enemies have taunted me all day long, those who deride me have used my name as a curse. For I have eaten ashes like bread, and mixed my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and thrown me away. My days are like a lengthened shadow, and I wither away like grass. But you, Lord, remain forever, and your name remains to all generations. You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to be gracious to her, for the appointed time has come. Surely your servants take pleasure in her stones, and feel pity for her dust. So the nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth, your glory. For the Lord has built up Zion, he has appeared in his glory. He has turned his attention to the prayer of the destitute and has not despised their prayer. This will be written for the generation to come, that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from his holy height, from heaven the Lord looked upon the earth. To hear the groaning of the prisoner, to set free those who were doomed to death. So that people may tell of the name of the Lord in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples are gathered together, and the kingdoms, to serve the Lord. He has broken my strength in the way, he has shortened my days. I say, my God, 
Do not take me away in the middle of my days, your years are throughout all generations. In time of old you founded the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Even they will perish, but you endure, all of them will wear out like a garment, like clothing you will change them and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years will not come to an end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established before you. Bless the Lord, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Two bless the Lord, my soul, and do not forget any of his benefits. Who pardons all your guilt, who heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with favor and compassion. Who satisfies your years with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. The Lord performs righteous deeds and judgments for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not always contend with us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our guilty deeds. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his mercy toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our wrongdoings from us. Just as a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he himself knows our form, he is mindful that we are nothing but dust. As for man, his days are like grass, like a flower of the field, so he flourishes. When the wind has passed over it, it is no more, and its place no longer knows about it. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting for those who fear him, and his justice to the children's children, eighteen to those who keep his covenant and remember his precepts, so as to do them. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his sovereignty rules over all. Bless the Lord, you his angels, mighty in strength, who perform his word, obeying the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you who serve him, doing his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord my God, you are very great, you are clothed with splendor and majesty. Covering yourself with light as with a cloak, stretching out heaven like a tent curtain. He lays the beams of his upper chambers in the waters, he makes the clouds his chariot, he walks on the wings of the wind. He makes the winds his messengers, flaming fire his ministers. He established the earth upon its foundations, so that it will not totter forever and ever. You covered it with the deep sea as with a garment, the waters were standing above the mountains. They fled from your rebuke, at the sound of your thunder they hurried away. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you established for them. You set a boundary so that they will not pass over, so that they will not return to cover the earth. He sends forth springs in the valleys, they flow between the mountains. They give drink to every animal of the field, the wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the sky dwell beside them, they lift up their voices from among the branches. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of his works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle, and vegetation for the labor of mankind, so that they may produce food from the earth. And wine, which makes a human heart cheerful, so that he makes his face gleam with oil, and food, which sustains a human heart. The trees of the Lord drink their fill, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. Where the birds build their nests, and the stork, 
whose home is the juniper trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the cliffs are a refuge for the rock hyrax. He made the moon for the seasons, the sun knows the place of its setting. You appoint darkness and it becomes night, in which all the animals of the forest prowl about. The young lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises they withdraw, and they lie down in their dens. A person goes out to his work and to his labor until evening. Lord, how many are your works? In wisdom you have made them all, the earth is full of your possessions. There is the sea, great and broad, in which are swarms without number, animals both small and great. The ships move along there, and Leviathan, which you have formed to have fun in it. They all wait for you to give them their food in due season. You give to them, they gather it up, you open your hand, they are satisfied with good. You hide your face, they are terrified, you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever, may the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks at the earth, and it trembles, he touches the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live, I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. May my praise be pleasing to him, as for me, I shall rejoice in the Lord. May sinners be removed from the earth and may the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make his deeds known among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wonders. Boast in his holy name, may the heart of those who seek the Lord be joyful. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. Remember his wonders which he has done, his marvels, and the judgments spoken by his mouth. You descendants of Abraham, his servant, you sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God, his judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations. The covenant which he made with Abraham, and his oath to Isaac. Then he confirmed it to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. Saying, To you I will give the land of Canaan as the portion of your inheritance. When they were only a few people in number, very few, and strangers in it. And they wandered from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people. He allowed no one to oppress them, and he rebuked kings for their sakes, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, and do not harm my prophets. And he called for a famine upon the land, he broke the whole staff of bread. He sent a man before them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. They forced his feet into shackles, he was put in irons. Until the time that his word came to pass, the word of the Lord refined him. The king sent and released him, the ruler of peoples, and set him free. He made him lord of his house, and ruler over all his possessions. To imprison his high officials at will, that he might teach his elders wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, so Jacob lived in the land of Ham. And he made his people very fruitful, and made them stronger than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal cunningly with his servants. He sent his servant Moses, and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed his wondrous acts among them, and miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark, and they did not rebel against his words. He turned their waters into blood, and caused their fish to die. 
Their land swarmed with frogs even in the chambers of their kings. 31 He spoke, and a swarm of flies and gnats invaded all their territory. He gave them hail for rain, and flaming fire in their land. He also struck their vines and their fig trees, and smashed the trees of their territory. He spoke, and locusts came, and creeping locusts, beyond number. And they ate all the vegetation in their land, and ate the fruit of their ground. He also fatally struck all the firstborn in their land, the first fruits of all their vigor. Then he brought the Israelites out with silver and gold, and among his tribes there was not one who stumbled. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the dread of them had fallen upon the Egyptians. He spread out a cloud as a covering, and fire to illumine by night. They asked, and he brought quail, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock and water flowed out, it ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy word with his servant Abraham. And he led out his people with joy, his chosen ones with a joyful shout. He also gave them the lands of the nations, so that they might take possession of the fruit of the people's labor. And that they might keep his statutes and comply with his laws, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy is everlasting. Who can speak of the mighty deeds of the Lord, or can proclaim all his praise? How blessed are those who maintain justice, who practice righteousness at all times. Remember me, Lord, in your favor toward your people. Visit me with your salvation. So that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the joy of your nation, that I may boast with your inheritance. We have sinned like our fathers, we have gone astray, we have behaved wickedly. Our fathers in Egypt did not understand your wonders, they did not remember your abundant kindnesses, but rebelled by the sea, at the Red Sea. Nevertheless he saved them for the sake of his name, so that he might make his power known. So he rebuked the Red Sea and it dried up, and he led them through the mighty waters, as through the wilderness. So he saved them from the hand of one who hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. The waters covered their adversaries, not one of them was left. Then they believed his words, they sang his praise. They quickly forgot his works, they did not wait for his plan. But became lustfully greedy in the wilderness, and put God to the test in the desert. So he gave them their request, but sent a wasting disease among them. When they became envious of Moses in the camp, and of Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and engulfed the company of Abram. And a fire blazed up in their company, the flame consumed the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb, and worshipped a cast metal image. So they exchanged their glory for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God their Savior, who had done great things in Egypt. Wonders in the land of Ham, and awesome things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that he would destroy them, if Moses, his chosen one, had not stood in the gap before him, to turn away his wrath from destroying them. Then they rejected the pleasant land, they did not believe his word. But grumbled in their tents, they did not listen to the voice of the Lord. Therefore he swore to them that he would have them fall in the wilderness. And that he would bring down their descendants among the nations, and scatter them in the lands. They also followed Baal-peor, and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. So they provoked him to anger with their deeds, and a plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and intervened, and so the plague was brought to a halt. And it was credited to him as righteousness, 
to all generations forever. They also provoked him to wrath at the waters of Meribah, so that it went badly for Moses on their account. Because they were rebellious against his spirit, he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples, as the Lord had commanded them. But they got involved with the nations and learned their practices. And served their idols, which became a snare to them. They even sacrificed their sons and their daughters to the demons. And shed innocent blood, the blood of their sons and their daughters whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan, and the land was defiled with the blood. So they became unclean in their practices, and were unfaithful in their deeds. Therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people, and he loathed his inheritance. So he handed them over to the nations, and those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were subdued under their power. Many times he would rescue them, they, however, were rebellious in their plan, and they sank down into their guilt. Nevertheless he looked at their distress when he heard their cry. And he remembered his covenant for their sake, and relented according to the greatness of his mercy. He also made them objects of compassion in the presence of all their captors. Save us, Lord our God, and gather us from the nations, to give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And all the people shall say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy is everlasting. The redeemed of the Lord shall say so, those whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. And gathered from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desert region, they did not find a way to an inhabited city. They were hungry and thirsty, their souls felt weak within them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, He saved them from their distresses. He also had them walk on a straight way, to go to an inhabited city. They shall give thanks to the Lord for His mercy, and for His wonders to the sons of mankind. For He has satisfied the thirsty soul, and He has filled the hungry soul with what is good. There were those who lived in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in misery in chains. Because they had rebelled against the words of God and rejected the plan of the Most High. Therefore He humbled their heart with labor, they stumbled and there was no one to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, He saved them from their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands apart. They shall give thanks to the Lord for His mercy, and for His wonders to the sons of mankind. For He has shattered gates of bronze and cut off bars of iron. Fools, because of their rebellious way, and because of their guilty deeds, were afflicted. Their souls loathed all kinds of food, and they came close to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, He saved them from their distresses. He sent His word and healed them, and saved them from their destruction. They shall give thanks to the Lord for His mercy, and for His wonders to the sons of mankind. They shall also offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, and tell of His works with joyful singing. Those who go down to the sea in ships, who do business on great waters. They have seen the works of the Lord, and His wonders in the deep. For He spoke and raised a stormy wind, which lifted the waves of the sea. They rose up to the heavens, they went down to the depths, their soul melted away in their misery. They reeled and staggered like a drunken person, and were at their wit's end. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He brought them out of their distresses. He caused the storm to be still, so that the waves of the sea were hushed. 
Then they were glad because they were quiet, so he guided them to their desired harbor. They shall give thanks to the Lord for his mercy, and for his wonders to the sons of mankind. They shall also exalt him in the congregation of the people, and praise him at the seat of the elders. He turns rivers into a wilderness, and springs of water into a thirsty ground, and a fruitful land into a salt waste, because of the wickedness of those who dwell in it. He turns a wilderness into a pool of water, and a dry land into springs of water. And he has the hungry live there, so that they may establish an inhabited city, and sow fields and plant vineyards, and gather a fruitful harvest. He also blesses them and they multiply greatly, and he does not let their cattle decrease. When they become few and lowly because of oppression, misery, and sorrow. He pours contempt upon noblemen and makes them wander in a pathless wasteland. But he sets the needy securely on high, away from affliction, and makes his families like a flock. The upright see it and are glad, but all injustice shuts its mouth. Who is wise? He is to pay attention to these things, and consider the mercy of the Lord. My heart is steadfast, God, I will sing, I will sing praises also with my soul. To awake, harp and lyre, I will awaken the dawn. I will give thanks to you, Lord, among the peoples, and I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your mercy is great above the heavens, and your truth reaches to the skies. Five be exalted above the heavens, God, and may your glory be above all the earth. So that your beloved may be rescued, save with your right hand, and answer me. God has spoken in his holiness, I will triumph, I will divide up Shechem, and measure out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim also is the helmet of my head, Judah is my scepter. Moab is my washbowl, I will throw my sandal over Edom, I will shout aloud over Philistia. Who will bring me into the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? God, have you yourself not rejected us? And will you not go forth with our armies, God? Give us help against the enemy, for deliverance by man is worthless. Through God we will do valiantly, and it is he who will trample down our enemies. God of my praise, do not be silent. For they have opened a wicked and deceitful mouth against me, they have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They have also surrounded me with words of hatred, and have fought against me without cause. In return for my love they act as my accusers, but I am in prayer. So they have repaid me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Appoint a wicked person over him, and may an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, may he come out guilty, and may his prayer become sin. May his days be few, may another take his office. May his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. May his children wander about and beg, and may they seek sustenance far from their ruined homes. May the creditor seize everything that he has, and may strangers plunder the product of his labor. May there be none to extend kindness to him, nor any to be gracious to his fatherless children. May his descendants be eliminated, may their name be wiped out in a following generation. May the guilt of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and do not let the sin of his mother be wiped out. May they be before the Lord continually, so that he may eliminate their memory from the earth. Because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecuted the afflicted and needy person, and the despondent in heart, to put them to death. He also loved cursing, so it came to him, and he did not delight in blessing, so it was far from him. But he clothed himself with cursing as with his garment, 
and it entered his body like water, and like oil into his bones. May it be to him as a garment with which he covers himself, and as a belt which he constantly wears around himself. May this be the reward of my accusers from the Lord, and of those who speak evil against my soul. But you, God, the Lord, deal kindly with me for the sake of your name, because your mercy is good, rescue me. For I am afflicted and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I am passing like a shadow when it lengthens, I am shaken off like the locust. My knees are weak from fasting, and my flesh has grown lean, without fatness. I also have become a disgrace to them, when they see me, they shake their head. Help me, Lord my God, save me according to your mercy. And may they know that this is your hand, you, Lord, have done it. They will curse, but you bless, when they arise, they will be ashamed, but your servant will be glad. May my accusers be clothed with dishonor, and may they cover themselves with their own shame as with a robe. With my mouth I will give thanks abundantly to the Lord, and I will praise Him in the midst of many. For He stands at the right hand of the needy, to save Him from those who judge His soul. The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will stretch out your strong scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will volunteer freely on the day of your power, in holy splendor, from the womb of the dawn, your youth are to you as the dew. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind, you are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand, he will shatter kings in the day of his wrath. He will judge among the nations, he will fill them with corpses, he will shatter the chief men over a broad country. He will drink from the brook by the wayside, therefore he will lift up his head. Praise the Lord! I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart, in the company of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, they are studied by all who delight in them. Splendid and majestic is His work, and His righteousness endures forever. He has caused His wonders to be remembered, the Lord is gracious and compassionate. He has given food to those who fear Him, he will remember his covenant forever. He has made known to his people the power of his works, in giving them the inheritance of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice, all his precepts are trustworthy. They are upheld forever and ever, they are performed in truth and uprightness. He has sent redemption to his people, he has ordained his covenant forever, holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, all those who follow His commandments have a good understanding, His praise endures forever. Praise the Lord! Blessed is a person who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in His commandments. His descendants will be mighty on the earth, the generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in His house, and His righteousness endures forever. Light shines in the darkness for the upright, He is gracious, compassionate, and righteous. It goes well for a person who is gracious and lends, He will maintain His cause in judgment. For He will never be shaken, the righteous will be remembered forever. He will not fear bad news, His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is firm, he will not fear, but will look with satisfaction on his enemies. He has given freely to the poor, his righteousness endures forever, his horn will be exalted in honor. The wicked will see it and be vexed, he will gnash his teeth and melt away, the desire of the wicked will perish. Praise the Lord! Praise him, you servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time on and forever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, His glory is above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high? Who looks far down to the heavens and the earth? He raises the poor from the dust, He lifts the needy from the garbage heap. To seat them with noblemen, with the noblemen of his people. He has the infertile woman live in the house as a joyful mother of children. Praise the Lord! When Israel went forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of a foreign language. Judah became his sanctuary, Israel, his dominion. The sea looked and fled, the Jordan turned back. The mountains skipped like rams, the hills, like lambs. What ails you, see, that you flee? Jordan, that you turn back. Mountains, that you skip like rams. Hills, like lambs. Tremble, earth, before the Lord, before the God of Jacob. Who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of water. Not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, because of your mercy, because of your truth. Why should the nations say, Where, then, is their God? But our God is in the heavens, He does whatever He pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they cannot speak, they have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, but they cannot hear, they have noses, but they cannot smell. They have hands, but they cannot feel, they have feet, but they cannot walk, they cannot make a sound with their throat. Those who make them will become like them, everyone who trusts in them. Israel, trust in the Lord, He is their help and their shield. House of Aaron, trust in the Lord, He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord, He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us, He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel, He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, the small together with the great. May the Lord increase you, you and your children. May you be blessed of the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the sons of mankind. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But as for us, we will bless the Lord from this time and forever. Praise the Lord. I love the Lord, because he hears my voice and my pleas. Because he has inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call upon him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me and the terrors of Sheol came upon me, I found distress and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord, Please, Lord, save my life. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous, yes, our God is compassionate. The Lord watches over the simple, I was brought low, and he saved me. Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has dealt generously with you. For you have rescued my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed when I said, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, All people are liars. What shall I repay to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation, and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord, may it be in the presence of all his people. Fifteen precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his godly ones. O Lord, I surely am your slave. I am your slave, the son of your female slave, 
you have unfastened my restraints. I will offer you a sacrifice of thanksgiving, and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord, may it be in the presence of all his people. In the courtyards of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, all nations, sing his praises, all peoples. For his mercy toward us is great, and the truth of the Lord is everlasting. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy is everlasting. Let Israel say, His mercy is everlasting. O oh, let the house of Aaron say, His mercy is everlasting. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy is everlasting. From my distress I called upon the Lord, the Lord answered me and put me in an open space. The Lord is for me, I will not fear, what can man do to me? The Lord is for me among those who help me, therefore I will look with satisfaction on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in noblemen. All nations surrounded me, in the name of the Lord I will certainly fend them off. They surrounded me, yes, they surrounded me, in the name of the Lord I will certainly fend them off. They surrounded me like bees, they were extinguished like a fire of thorn bushes, in the name of the Lord I will certainly fend them off. You pushed me violently so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength in song, and He has become my salvation. The sound of joyful shouting and salvation is in the tents of the righteous, the right hand of the Lord performs valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted, the right hand of the Lord performs valiantly. I will not die, but live, and tell of the works of the Lord. The Lord has disciplined me severely, but He has not turned me over to death. Open the gates of righteousness to me, I will enter through them, I will give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous will enter through it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me, and you have become my salvation. A stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This came about from the Lord, it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made, let's rejoice and be glad in it. Please, O Lord, do save us, please, O Lord, do send prosperity. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, we have blessed you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and He has given us light, bind the festival sacrifice to the horns of the altar with cords. You are my God, and I give thanks to you, you are my God, I exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His mercy is everlasting. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Too blessed are those who comply with His testimonies, and seek Him with all their heart. They also do no injustice, they walk in His ways. You have ordained your precepts, that we are to keep them diligently. Oh that my ways may be established to keep your statutes. Then I will not be ashamed when I look at all your commandments. I will give thanks to you with uprightness of heart, when I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes, do not utterly abandon me. How can a young man keep his way pure? By keeping it according to your word. With all my heart I have sought you, do not let me wander from your commandments. I have treasured your word in my heart, so that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have told of all the ordinances of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and regard your ways. 
I shall delight in your statutes, I will not forget your word. Deal generously with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold wonderful things from your law. I am a stranger on the earth, do not hide your commandments from me. My soul is crushed with longing for your ordinances at all times. You rebuke the arrogant, the cursed, who wander from your commandments. Take disgrace and contempt away from me, for I comply with your testimonies. Even though rulers sit and speak against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Your testimonies also are my delight, they are my advisors. My soul clings to the dust, revive me according to your word. I have told of my ways, and you have answered me, teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wonders. My soul weeps because of grief, strengthen me according to your word. Remove the false way from me, and graciously grant me your law. I have chosen the faithful way, I have placed your judgments before me. I cling to your testimonies, Lord, do not put me to shame. I shall run the way of your commandments, for you will enlarge my heart. Teach me, the way of your statutes, Lord, and I shall comply with it to the end. Give me understanding, so that I may comply with your law and keep it with all my heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. 36 Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to dishonest gain. Turn my eyes away from looking at what is worthless, and revive me in your ways. Establish your word to your servant as that which produces reverence for you. Take away my disgrace which I dread, for your judgments are good. 40 Behold, I long for your precepts, revive me through your righteousness. 41 May your favor also come to me, Lord, your salvation according to your word. So that I will have an answer for one who taunts me, for I trust in your word. And do not take the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I wait for your judgments. So I will keep your law continually, forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings and shall not be ashamed. I will delight in your commandments, which I love. And I shall lift up my hands to your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember the word to your servant, in which you have made me hope. This is my comfort in my misery, that your word has revived me. The arrogant utterly deride me, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I have remembered your judgments from of old, Lord, and comfort myself. Fifty-three burning indignation has seized me because of the wicked, who abandon your law. Your statutes are my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. Lord, I remember your name in the night, and keep your law. This has become mine, that I comply with your precepts. The Lord is my portion, I have promised to keep your words. I sought your favor with all my heart, be gracious to me according to your word. I considered my ways and turned my feet to your testimonies. I hurried and did not delay to keep your commandments. The snares of the wicked have surrounded me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion to all those who fear you, and to those who keep your precepts. The earth is full of your goodness, Lord, teach me your statutes. You have treated your servant well, Lord, according to your word. Teach me good discernment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and you do good, teach me your statutes. The arrogant have forged a lie against me, 
with all my heart I will comply with your precepts. Their heart is insensitive, like fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, so that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hands made me and fashioned me, give me understanding, so that I may learn your commandments. May those who fear you see me and be glad, because I wait for your word. I know, Lord, that your judgments are righteous, and that you have afflicted me in faithfulness. May your favor comfort me, according to your word to your servant. May your compassion come to me so that I may live, for your law is my delight. May the arrogant be put to shame, because they lead me astray with a lie, but I shall meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, and those who know your testimonies. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, so that I will not be ashamed. My soul languishes for your salvation, I wait for your word. My eyes fail with longing for your word, while I say, When will you comfort me? Though I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, I do not forget your statutes. How many are the days of your servant? When will you execute judgment on those who persecute me? The arrogant have dug pits for me, people who are not in accord with your law. All your commandments are faithful, they have persecuted me with a lie, help me. They almost destroyed me on earth, but as for me, I did not abandon your precepts. Revive me according to your faithfulness, so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Forever, Lord, your word stands in heaven. Your faithfulness continues throughout generations, you establish the earth, and it stands. They stand this day by your ordinances, for all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, then I would have perished in my misery. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have revived me. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me, I will diligently consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection, your commandment is exceedingly broad. How I love your law! It is my meditation all the day. Your commandments make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever mine. I have more insight than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than those who are old, because I have complied with your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way, so that I may keep your word. I have not turned aside from your judgments, for you yourself have taught me. 103 How sweet are your words to my taste! Yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. From your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and I will confirm it, that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am exceedingly afflicted, revive me, Lord, according to your word. Be pleased to accept the voluntary offerings of my mouth, Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have set a trap for me, yet I have not wandered from your precepts. I have inherited your testimonies forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever, even to the end. I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield, I wait for your word. Leave me, you evildoers, so that I may comply with the commandments of my God. Sustain me according to your word, that I may live, and do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Sustain me so that I may be safe, that I may have regard for your statutes continually. 
You have rejected all those who stray from your statutes, for their deceitfulness is useless. You have removed all the wicked of the earth like impurities, therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles from the fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I have done justice and righteousness, do not leave me to my oppressors. Be a guarantor for your servant for good, do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail with longing for your salvation, and for your righteous word. Deal with your servant according to your graciousness, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant, give me understanding, so that I may know your testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for they have broken your law. Therefore I love your commandments above gold, yes, above pure gold. Therefore I carefully follow all your precepts concerning everything, I hate every false way. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul complies with them. 130 The unfolding of your words gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. I opened my mouth wide and panted, for I longed for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as is right for those who love your name. Establish my footsteps in your word, and do not let any wrongdoing have power over me. Redeem me from oppression by man, so that I may keep your precepts. Make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of water, because they do not keep your law. You are righteous, Lord, and your judgments are right. You have commanded your testimonies in righteousness and great faithfulness. My zeal has consumed me, because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever, give me understanding that I may live. I cried out with all my heart, Answer me, Lord. I will comply with your statutes. I cried to you, Save me and I shall keep your testimonies. I rise before dawn and cry for help, I wait for your words. My eyes anticipate the night watches, so that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your faithfulness, revive me, Lord, according to your judgments. Those who follow after wickedness approach, they are far from your law. You are near, Lord, and all your commandments are truth. From long ago I have known from your testimonies that you have founded them forever. Look at my affliction and rescue me, for I have not forgotten your law. Plead my cause and redeem me, revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your mercies, Lord, revive me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet I do not turn aside from your testimonies. I see the treacherous and loathe them, because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts, revive me, Lord, according to your faithfulness. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments is everlasting. Rulers persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your word, like one who finds great plunder. I hate and loathe falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Those who love your law have great peace, and nothing causes them to stumble. I hope for your salvation, Lord, and do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies, for all my ways are before you. 
Let my cry come before you, Lord, give me understanding according to your word. Let my pleading come before you, save me according to your word. Let my lips pour out praise, for you teach me your statutes. Let my tongue sing about your word, for all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live that it may praise you, and let your ordinances help me. I have wandered about like a lost sheep, search for your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. I cried to the Lord in my trouble, and he answered me. Rescue my soul, Lord, from lying lips, from a deceitful tongue. What will he give to you, and what more will he do to you, you deceitful tongue? Sharp arrows of the warrior, with the burning coals of the broom tree. Woe to me, for I reside in Meshech, for I have settled among the tents of Kedar. Too long has my soul had its dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war. I will raise my eyes to the mountains, from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip, he who watches over you will not slumber. Behold, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your protector, the Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not beat down on you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil, he will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time and forever. I was glad when they said to me, Let's go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, Jerusalem. Jerusalem, that has been built as a city that is firmly joined together. To which the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, an ordinance for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For thrones were set there for judgment, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, may they prosper who love you. May peace be within your walls, and prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brothers and my friends, I will now say, May peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. To you I have raised my eyes, you who are enthroned in the heavens. To behold, as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a female servant to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God, until he is gracious to us. Be gracious to us, Lord, be gracious to us, for we have had much more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had much more than enough of the scoffing of those who are at ease, and with the contempt of the proud. Had it not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel say. Had it not been the Lord who was on our side when people rose up against us. Then they would have swallowed us alive, when their anger was kindled against us. Then the waters would have flooded over us, the stream would have swept over our souls. Then the raging waters would have swept over our souls. Blessed be the Lord, who has not given us to be torn by their teeth. Our souls have escaped like a bird from the trapper's snare, the snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved but remains forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time and forever. For the scepter of wickedness will not rest upon the land of the righteous, so that the righteous will not extend their hands to do wrong. Do good, Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But as for those who turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord will lead them away with those who practice injustice. 
Peace be upon Israel. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with joyful shouting, then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, we are joyful. Restore our fortunes, Lord, as the streams in the south. Those who sow in tears shall harvest with joyful shouting. One who goes here and there weeping, carrying his bag of seed, shall indeed come again with a shout of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. Unless the Lord builds a house, they who build it labor in vain, unless the Lord guards a city, the watchman stays awake in vain. It is futile for you to rise up early, to stay up late, to eat the bread of painful labor, this is how he gives to his beloved sleep. Behold, children are a gift of the Lord, the fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them, they will not be ashamed when they speak with their enemies in the gate. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you eat the fruit of the labor of your hands, you will be happy and it will go well for you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house, your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, for so shall a man who fears the Lord be blessed. The Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Indeed, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Many times they have attacked me from my youth up, let Israel say. Many times they have attacked me from my youth up, yet they have not prevailed against me. The plows plowed upon my back, they lengthened their furrows. The Lord is righteous, he has cut up the ropes of the wicked. May all who hate Zion be put to shame and turned backward. May they be like grass upon the housetops, which withers before it grows up. With which the harvester does not fill his hand, or the binder of sheaves his arms. Nor do those who pass by say, The blessing of the Lord be upon you, we bless you in the name of the Lord. Out of the depths I have cried to you, Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the sound of my pleadings. If you, Lord, were to keep account of guilty deeds, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and I wait for his word. My soul waits in hope for the Lord more than the watchman for the morning, yes, more than the watchman for the morning. Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all his guilty deeds. Lord, my heart is not proud, nor my eyes arrogant, nor do I involve myself in great matters, or in things too difficult for me. I have certainly soothed and quieted my soul, like a weaned child resting against his mother, my soul within me is like a weaned child. Israel, wait for the Lord from this time on and forever. Remember, Lord, in David's behalf, all his affliction. How he swore to the Lord and vowed to the Mighty One of Jacob. I certainly will not enter my house, nor lie on my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids. Until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the Mighty One of Jacob. Behold, we heard about it in Ephrathah, we found it in the field of Jar. Let's go into his dwelling place, let's worship at his footstool. Arise, Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your strength. May your priests be clothed with righteousness, and may your godly ones sing for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not turn away the face of your anointed. 
The Lord has sworn to David a truth from which he will not turn back, I will set upon your throne one from the fruit of your body. If your sons will keep my covenant and my testimony which I will teach them, their sons also will sit upon your throne forever. For the Lord has chosen Zion, he has desired it as his dwelling place. This is my resting place forever, here I will dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her food, I will satisfy her needy with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation, and her godly ones will sing aloud for joy. I will make the horn of David spring forth there, I have prepared a lamp for my anointed. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but upon himself his crown will gleam. Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brothers to live together in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head, running down upon the beard, as on Aaron's beard, the oil which ran down upon the edge of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon coming down upon the mountains of Zion, for the Lord commanded the blessing there, life forever. Behold, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, who serve by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands to the sanctuary and bless the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who made heaven and earth. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord, praise him, you servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courtyards of the house of our God. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good, sing praises to his name, for it is lovely. For the Lord has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel as his own possession. For I know that the Lord is great and that our Lord is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does, in heaven and on earth, in the seas and in all the ocean depths. He causes the mist to ascend from the ends of the earth, he makes lightning for the rain, he brings forth the wind from his treasuries. He struck the firstborn of Egypt, both human firstborn and animal. He sent signs and wonders into your midst, Egypt, upon Pharaoh and all his servants. He struck many nations and brought death to mighty kings. Sion, king of the Amorites, Oji, king of Bashan, and all the kingdoms of Canaan. And he gave their land as an inheritance, an inheritance to his people Israel. Your name, Lord, is everlasting, the mention of you, Lord, is throughout all generations. For the Lord will judge his people and will have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are nothing but silver and gold, the work of human hands. They have mouths, but they do not speak, they have eyes, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear, nor is there any breath at all in their mouths. Those who make them will become like them, yes, everyone who trusts in them. House of Israel, bless the Lord, house of Aaron, bless the Lord. House of Levi, bless the Lord, you who revere the Lord, bless the Lord. Twenty-one blessed be the Lord from Zion, who dwells in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his faithfulness is everlasting. Two give thanks to the God of gods, for his faithfulness is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who alone does great wonders, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who made the heavens with skill, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who spread out the earth above the waters, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who made the great lights, for his faithfulness is everlasting. The sun to rule by day, for his faithfulness is everlasting. The moon and stars to rule by night, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who struck the Egyptians, that is, their firstborn, 
for his faithfulness is everlasting. And brought Israel out from their midst, for his faithfulness is everlasting. With a strong hand and an outstretched arm, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who divided the Red Sea in parts, for his faithfulness is everlasting. And allowed Israel to pass through the midst of it, for his faithfulness is everlasting. But he overthrew Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who led his people through the wilderness, for his faithfulness is everlasting. To him who struck great kings, for his faithfulness is everlasting. And brought death to mighty kings, for his faithfulness is everlasting. Sion, king of the Amorites, for his faithfulness is everlasting. And O.G., king of Bashan, for his faithfulness is everlasting. And gave their land as an inheritance, for his faithfulness is everlasting. An inheritance to his servant Israel, for his faithfulness is everlasting. Who remembered us in our lowliness, for his faithfulness is everlasting. And has rescued us from our enemies, for his faithfulness is everlasting. Who gives food to all flesh, for his faithfulness is everlasting. Give thanks to the God of heaven, for his faithfulness is everlasting. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and wept, when we remembered Zion. Upon the willows in the midst of it we hung our harps. For there our captors demanded of us songs, and our tormentors, jubilation, saying, Sing for us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I do not remember you, if I do not exalt Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, Lord, against the sons of Edom the day of Jerusalem, those who said, Lay it bare, lay it bare to its foundation. Daughter of Babylon, you devastated one, blessed will be one who repays you with the retribution with which you have repaid us. Blessed will be one who seizes and dashes your children against the rock. I will give you thanks with all my heart, I will sing your praises before the gods. I will bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your mercy and your truth, for you have made your word great according to all your name. On the day I called, you answered me, you made me bold with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth will give thanks to you, Lord, when they have heard the words of your mouth. And they will sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. For the Lord is exalted, yet he looks after the lowly, but he knows the haughty from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me, you will reach out with your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. The Lord will accomplish what concerns me, your faithfulness, Lord, is everlasting, do not abandon the works of your hands. Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I get up, you understand my thought from far away. You scrutinize my path and my lying down, and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before there is a word on my tongue, behold, Lord, you know it all. You have encircled me behind and in front, and placed your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, it is too high, I cannot comprehend it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there, if I make my bed in Sheol, behold, you are there. If I take up the wings of the dawn, if I dwell in the remotest part of the sea, even there your hand will lead me, and your right hand will take hold of me. If I say, surely the darkness will overwhelm me, and the light around me will be night. Even darkness is not dark to you, 
and the night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light are alike to you. For you created my innermost parts, you wove me in my mother's womb. I will give thanks to you, because I am awesomely and wonderfully made, wonderful are your works, and my soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret, and skillfully formed in the depths of the earth. Your eyes have seen my formless substance, and in your book were written all the days that were ordained for me, when as yet there was not one of them. How precious also are your thoughts for me, God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you would put the wicked to death, God, leave me, you men of bloodshed. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with the utmost hatred, they have become my enemies. Search me, God, and know my heart, put me to the test and know my anxious thoughts. And see if there is any hurtful way in me, and lead me in the everlasting way. Rescue me, Lord, from evil people, protect me from violent men. Who devise evil things in their hearts, they continually stir up wars. They sharpen their tongues like a snake, the venom of a viper is under their lips. Selah. Keep me, Lord, from the hands of the wicked, protect me from violent men who intend to trip up my feet. The proud have hidden a trap for me, and snares, they have spread a net at the wayside, they have set snares for me. Selah. I said to the Lord, You are my God, listen, Lord, to the sound of my pleadings. God the Lord, the strength of my salvation, you have covered my head on the day of battle. Do not grant, Lord, the desires of the wicked, do not bring about his evil planning, so that they are not exalted. Selah. As for the head of those who surround me, may the harm of their lips cover them. May burning coals fall upon them, may they be cast into the fire, into bottomless pits from which they cannot rise. May a slanderer not endure on the earth, may evil hunt a violent person violently. I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted, and justice for the poor. Certainly the righteous will give thanks to your name, the upright will dwell in your presence. Lord, I call upon you, hurry to me. Listen to my voice when I call to you. May my prayer be counted as incense before you, the raising of my hands as the evening offering. Set a guard, Lord, over my mouth, keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not incline my heart to any evil thing, to practice deeds of wickedness with people who do wrong, and may I not taste their delicacies. May the righteous strike me with mercy and discipline me, it is oil for the head, my head shall not refuse it, for my prayer is still against their evil deeds. Their judges are thrown down by the sides of the rock, and they hear my words, for they are pleasant. As when one plows and breaks open the earth, our bones have been scattered at the mouth of Sheol. For my eyes are toward you, God, the Lord, in you I take refuge, do not leave me defenseless. Keep me from the jaws of the trap which they have set for me, and from the snares of those who do wrong. May the wicked fall into their own nets, while I pass by safely. I cry out with my voice to the Lord, with my voice I implore the Lord for compassion. I pour out my complaint before Him, I declare my trouble before Him. When my spirit felt weak within me, you knew my path. In the way where I walk they have hidden a trap for me. Look to the right and see, for there is no one who regards me favorably, there is no escape for me, no one cares for my soul. 
I cried out to you, Lord, I said, You are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Give your attention to my cry, for I have been brought very low, rescue me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, so that I may give thanks to your name, the righteous will surround me, for you will look after me. Hear my prayer, Lord, listen to my pleadings. Answer me in your faithfulness, in your righteousness. And do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no person living is righteous in your sight. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground, he has made me dwell in dark places, like those who have long been dead. Therefore my spirit feels weak within me, my heart is appalled within me. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all your accomplishments, I reflect on the work of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my soul longs for you, like a weary land. Selah. Answer me quickly, Lord, my spirit fails, do not hide your face from me, or I will be the same as those who go down to the pit. Let me hear your faithfulness in the morning, for I trust in you, teach me the way in which I should walk, for to you I lift up my soul. Save me, Lord, from my enemies, I take refuge in you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God, let your good spirit lead me on level ground. For the sake of your name, Lord, revive me. In your righteousness bring my soul out of trouble. And in your faithfulness, destroy my enemies, and eliminate all those who attack my soul, for I am your servant. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, and my fingers for battle. My faithfulness and my fortress, my stronghold and my savior, my shield and he in whom I take refuge, who subdues my people under me. Lord, what is man, that you look after him? Or a son of man, that you think of him? Man is like the breath, his days are like a passing shadow. Bend down your heavens, Lord, and come down, touch the mountains, that they may smoke. Flash forth lightning and scatter them, send out your arrows and confuse them. Reach out with your hand from on high, rescue me and save me from great waters, from the hand of foreigners. Whose mouth speak deceit, and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. God, I will sing a new song to you, on a harp of ten strings I will sing praises to you. Who gives salvation to kings, who rescues his servant David from the evil sword. Rescue me and save me from the hand of foreigners, whose mouth speaks deceit and whose right hand is a right hand of falsehood. When our sons in their youth are like growing plants, and our daughters like corner pillars fashioned for a palace. Our granaries are full, providing every kind of produce, and our flocks deliver thousands and ten thousands in our fields. May our cattle be bred without mishap and without loss, may there be no outcry in our streets. Blessed are the people who are so situated, blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. I will exalt you, my God, the King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation will praise your works to another, and will declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wonderful works, I will meditate. People will speak of the power of your awesome acts, and I will tell of your greatness. They will burst forth in speaking of your abundant goodness, and will shout joyfully of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and great in mercy. The Lord is good to all, and His mercies are over all His works. All your works will give thanks to you, 
Lord, and your godly ones will bless you. They will speak of the glory of your kingdom, and talk of your might. To make known to the sons of mankind your mighty acts, and the glory of the majesty of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in his words, and holy in all his works. The Lord supports all who fall, and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due time. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and kind in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of those who fear him, he will also hear their cry for help and save them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but he will destroy all the wicked. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord while I live, I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Do not trust in noblemen, in mortal man, in whom there is no salvation. His spirit departs, he returns to the earth, on that very day his plans perish. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God who made heaven and earth, the sea and everything that is in them, who keeps faith forever, who executes justice for the oppressed, who gives food to the hungry. The Lord frees the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of those who are blind, the Lord raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over strangers, he supports the fatherless and the widow, but he thwarts the way of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, your God, Zion, to all generations. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. For it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, he gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He counts the number of the stars, he gives names to all of them. Great is our Lord and abundant in strength, his understanding is infinite. The Lord supports the afflicted, he brings the wicked down to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praises to our God on the lyre. It is he who covers the heavens with clouds, who provides rain for the earth, who makes grass sprout on the mountains. It is he who gives an animal its food, and feeds young ravens that cry. He does not delight in the strength of the horse, he does not take pleasure in the legs of a man. The Lord favors those who fear him, those who wait for his faithfulness. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates, he has blessed your sons among you. He makes peace in your borders, he satisfies you with the finest of the wheat. He sends his command to the earth, his word runs very swiftly. He showers snow like wool, he scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls his ice as fragments, who can stand before his cold? He sends his word and makes them melt, he makes his wind blow, and the waters flow. He declares his words to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He has not dealt this way with any other nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights. Praise Him, all His angels, praise Him, all His heavenly armies. Praise Him, sun and moon, praise Him, all stars of light. Praise Him, highest heavens, 
and the waters that are above the heavens. They are to praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He has also established them forever and ever, he has made a decree, and it will not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, sea monsters, and all the ocean depths. Fire and hail, snow and clouds, stormy wind, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars. Animals and all cattle, crawling things and winged fowl. Kings of the earth and all peoples, rulers and all judges of the earth. Both young men and virgins, old men and children. They are to praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted, his majesty is above earth and heaven. And he has lifted up a horn for his people, praise for all his godly ones, for the sons of Israel, a people near to him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, and his praise in the congregation of the godly ones. Israel shall be joyful in his Maker, the sons of Zion shall rejoice in their King. They shall praise his name with dancing, they shall sing praises to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people, he will glorify the lowly with salvation. The godly ones shall be jubilant in glory, they shall sing for joy on their beds. The high praises of God shall be in their mouths, and a two-edged sword in their hands. To execute vengeance on the nations, and punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings with chains, and their dignitaries with shackles of iron. To execute against them the judgment written. This is an honor for all his godly ones. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty expanse. Praise him for his mighty deeds, praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound, praise him with harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing, praise him with stringed instruments and flute. Praise him with loud cymbals, praise him with resounding cymbals. Everything that has breath shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 